What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Detective Pikachu Returns. We've got to check that newspaper to see uh, what's going on right now, or not right now, but what happened recently. A good uh, kind of a recap of what happened last episode. Chief of Pokemon Protection Bureau removed for misconduct. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's an article about Chief Butler. You mean former Chief Butler? Indeed, he captured innocent Pokemon and exchanged them for money. There's no way he's keeping his title after that. Seems like all the Pokemon being detained at the police station were able to return to their homes. And the police are searching for the Pokemon that were sent to Un Unitas. Uh, Unitas. Is it Un Unitas or Unitas? I don't know. I'm going to say Unitas. Looks like Brad's team is handling that. It's the least they could do after they went around arresting all those innocent Pokemon. And then, uh, this is inter <laughs> interesting. It's an article about the Gossifleur Choir Concert. That's the group you say from disbanding, right? I don't know if I go that far. Still, I didn't expect to see them in the newspaper. They're a bigger deal than I thought. It says here their concert tickets tend to sell out fast. Guess it's a good thing we managed to find them all. Yep, looks like they made it to the next stop on their tour. No problem. Let's go see them next time they're in Rhyme City. Sounds good to me. We should check out their concert schedule. Renowned chef dishes about the perfect cooking heat. Ooh. It's an interview with a top-rated chef in Rhyme City. Oh, hey, I see them on TV all the time. I think their catchphrase is something like, heat is paramount when it comes to cooking. Oh, that is a catchphrase and a half. They sound pretty fired up about cooking heat in this interview, too. According to them, a flame as fervent, fierce, and focused as Pig Nights procures, produces the ideal cooking heat. Huh, kind of surprised they use Pignite as the standard. There's got to be lots of other Pokemon that can create stronger flames than Pignite, right? Maybe if the flame's too strong, the food just burns to a crisp. I see, guess there's more to cooking than I realize. Master Masterpiece. <clears throat> What's this photo? Did someone throw paint all over that wall? Oh, that's Rhyme City's hot new tourist spot. Originally, it was the, just the product of some APOM playing pranks. There was some debate uh, about whether the wall should be repainted, but now it's apparently considered a popular piece of modern art. A Pokemon prank turned modern art, huh? The world really is full of surprises. Do you think the APOM could have been trying to make art on purpose? Uh, I doubt it. We should ask next time we see him. And then the migratory patterns of mm. Taillow. I wonder what happened to that Taillow. Is that the one you met while I was detained? If it ended up living near uh, Fountain Plaza, I'm sure it'll eventually stop feeling homesick. That place gets lots of foot traffic, you know. Yeah, I always see people in Pokemon there. During the colder months, Taillow flies south to live where it's warmer. That Taillow will probably do the same eventually. Well, I hope it enjoys its time here until then. And then here's a daily crossword, but we already know the answers because hey. we did the Quizmaster thing or whatever. Uh, this aromatic Pokemon has a beautiful flower blooming out of its head. Sure sounds like Lilligant to me. This Pokemon has fluffy fur around its neck, loves to stay clean, and lives as it pleases. Oh, oh, I know this one. The answer is Delcaddy. This Pokemon prefers secluded places. Sounds like this Pokemon I see behind the police station sometime. I'll go with Hatena. We didn't even find those answers together this time, but you still got them all right. Nice going, Pikachu. Today's clues were all about Pokemon that live in Rhyme City, right? As a detective, I got to make sure I know who my neighbors are. Well, there we go. Mom, I'm going to head out again. Right. It was quite startling when Pikachu fainted last night. I suppose it's understandable considering he was being held at the police station. But at the same time, but the same thing happened during dinner the other day, too. I think the two of you may be pushing yourselves a bit too hard. Why don't you take today to rest? I wish we could, but there's still a lot to investigate. Pikachu's raring to go, too. Hmm, why don't you take it easy until lunch, then? Thanks, but we've, we've, we're already getting a late start. we got to head out. Of course you do. Sorry, we'll see you later. My sister here, yes. sis. How did you like the coffee I made? Well, uh, let me see. Oh, you made that coffee? Thanks, Sophia. She had her heart set on making coffee for Pikachu and was practicing it all day. You were pretty worried about him, huh? Well, of course I was worried. Pikachu is family. Thanks, Sophia. That was the best coffee I've ever had. Pah, <laughs> liar. <laughs> no. Anything yeah. else? Was the coffee good, Pikachu? It tasted fantastic, Sophia. I mean, how could it not after you made it just for me? I think Pikachu really appreciated that, Sophia. And now, we gone. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Pikachu. Right. That's the name of a game. All right, so we're heading out, and uh, we're going to Bamboo something or other. Bamboo Burrow. Memories of the Bamboo Forest. Okay. Wow. Bamboo Burrow. Yeah, I got it right. Bamboo Burrow. I think. Hey. 
All right, Tim, let's go find Jessica. Yeah, we need to make sure that U Unitas organization isn't after her. Guess we don't have time for any sightseeing while we're here. Jessica should be working at the pizzeria. Let's go there first and see if she's around. Right. What yes. say you? We need to find Jessica. Okay, that was that's true. There's a map. Oh. It's a tourist map for Bamboo Bor Borough. Looks like this neighborhood is laid out in a straight line. That makes it easy for us to navigate, judging by the map. We're at the far right end of the neighborhood. Yeah, we won't get lost as long as we stay on this street. Good. And then what are you? What's your deal? Balossum. That's an awesome Balossum. You're playing a game with that old man. Sounds fun. And what are they doing here? Throws foes with its hefty horn. It looks threatening. Let's stay out of its way. This one looks threatening too. They both look threatening. They're fighting. The Vicavolt. It looks really angry. How are you, little one? Yeah. Oh, it's a Galarian form of Meowth. A savage vagabond. This is Meowth, Meowth right? Yeah, it's a steel type Meowth. I take it you're not from around these parts, Meowth. Where'd you come from, buddy? What? You're friends with Dar Darmanitan and uh, Ice Q? You mean the Darmanitan and Ice Q from the ruins? What are you doing here by yourself? So your friends got captured and you followed them only to lose track of them along the way. You like it here because Jessica feeds you and there are others you can test your strength against. Your hobbies are eating and battling, huh? I hope we can help with this Meowth see Darmanitan and its friends. They should still be at the Southern Ruins with Gordon. You must want to see Darmanitan and the gang, huh, Meowth? You do? Then let me tell you how to get to the Southern Ruins. You don't want to go until you've battled and defeated the strongest Pokemon in the Bamboo Forest? But you haven't won yet, so you want to beat that Pokemon before you leave. Let's be careful, Pikachu. Sounds like there's a really strong Pokemon out there. Well, we're still on the trail of finding Jessica. What's up with you? What do I do? He won't listen at all to me. Seems like something's up. Is anything wrong? As you can see, my Vigavolt is about to start a fight with Heracross. You're right. A fight's about to break out at any moment. Actually, I've heard that these two Pokemon have a history of being rivals. I was on a walk with Vigavolt, and then he bumped into Heracross, and that's when he lost his temper, huh? I wonder if there's some way we could stop them. They're powerful Pokemon, so it'd be tough to stop them with brute force. Let's find a Pokemon that can help them calm down. All right, so that's a local concern right there. We will find someone who can help them be calm. Hi there, can I interest you in some herbal medicine? Please buy as much Excuse as you me. like. Interesting, what kind of medicine do you have? Oh, you know, all sorts. That's descriptive. I'm just looking after the shop while the owner's away. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure that's something to laugh about. The owner's quite enthusiastic about herbal medicine. He's always disappearing to go look for ingredients. He'll pop out and suddenly show up again with piles of roots and empty insect shells. When he couldn't enter the bamboo forest a couple years back, he ended up finding another good spot to collect ingredients. Turns out that uh, that spot's got different ingredients in the bamboo forest. He's been pooping, popping over there ever since. He also poops there. You know, I thought the owner was being kind of careless with his business at first, but it sounds like he actually knows what he's doing. This shop would go out of business without the owner's hard work. I'm more than happy just to hold down the fort. <laughs> they seem like a great pair. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Unusual, huh? Hmm, well our supply of herbal medicine has gotten pretty low, so I've been wondering whether it'll last until the owner gets back. I see, I hope he comes back soon. Me too, it'd be a shame if he came back to a shuttered shop. How is she so carefree? She's on the herbs. She's been smoking these herbs here. That's how she's so carefree. That may not be true. Hey there, here to do some sightseeing. Then I have I got the souvenir for you. Our bamboo charcoal is made only of the finest pieces of bamboo. Trust me, our quality is first class. First class, huh? That's a bold statement. We'd love to hear more about this neighborhood and about bamboo charcoal too, if you don't mind. No problem at all. Can't tell you much about the neighborhood, I'm afraid, but I can talk your ear off about bamboo charcoal. I guess we might as well listen to his charcoal spiel. As, as I'm sure you're well aware, Bamboo Borough is famous for its bamboo. By harnessing this, this abundant natural resources, Bamboo Charcoal was born. Our bamboo charcoal is crafted by a charcoal master with 60 years of experience. He pours his heart and soul into every piece. Huh? Wow, 60 years. I know, right? I've learned a ton by working with him. He's so dedicated to his craft. 
but I guess he'd have to, to be to do this for 80 years. Yeah, 80 years is a long time to do anything. Wait, hold on. Did, it, did you just say 60 years? I highly recommend our bamboo charcoal as a souvenir. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual? Huh, strange question, stranger. Nothing comes to mind, though. I see. Well, thanks anyway. I guess something strange has been going on. What about you? Welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Let me see. Oh, I love souvenirs. Let's take a look, Tim. You never know. We might learn something useful. Hmm, I feel like I've seen you somewhere. You hear that, Tim? People recognize us here, too. I got it. You two are detectives, right? Close. I'm not just a detective, though. I'm a great detective. I've got just a thing for a couple of sleuths. I'd love to take a look. Do you mind if I ask a few questions, too? So tell us about the shop. Hey, isn't this hat... It looks just like mine. Excellent choice. That detective hat is very popular with kids. Why don't we get one for Sophie as a souvenir? I think it might be a bit small for her. You're probably right. Too bad. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, I've been seeing some new faces recently. Interesting. What sort of new faces exactly? Why, hip youngsters like yourself, of course. I bet they heard all about the rare souvenirs we carry. You can't find goods like these in the city, you know. <laughs> He's a dedicated salesman. No kidding. Seems like no one suspicious has come by, at least. All right. There's a side duck just chilling here. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, uh, hey, side duck, what are you doing here? What's it saying? Sidak's partner is conducting the interviews around here. She's doing a special report on local restaurants, so she's looking for good places to eat. It's asking if we know of any good places. We only just got here, so I'm not really sure. We'll recommend the pizzeria, right? My number one recommend recommendation is the pizzeria right there. Their oven fresh bamboo charcoal pizza is out of this world. The curry place over there is good too. They put tomato berries in their curry, so it's super spicy, but it goes so well with coffee. You say that like you've eaten at all these places. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right, I wonder why. Anyway, you said your partner's doing interviews for a special report. Is she a reporter? Oh, okay, your partner's a reporter for GNN. Well then, side duck, tell your partner we say hello. Tim, over here. Hey, side duck, how's it going? We just talked to him. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. Hi. <laughs> Did you eat too much good food? You seem too full to chat right now. What? What was that about? <laughs> Blossom. Blossom. It's a Blossom. Don't you think it's looking a little antsy? Hmm, you're worried about something. Apparently it's part of a group of Blossom that put on dance performances here, but it's almost showtime and the other two Blossoms haven't arrived yet. Well then, should we go look for him? Right on, Tim. I knew you'd ask. All right, Blossom. We'll help you out. All right. I, I, wasn't, wasn't there one over here? I mean, I saw one over here, right? Squeeze me. There's one. Oh, Blossom. There you are. Your friends are waiting for you at the usual spot. All right. Lost track of time playing with the old man, so hurry on. I don't know how many there are, but we found, uh, he's over there talking. What's anything you had to say? What's this guy want? <laughs> Prince Charming. What? Prince Charming. I got it. I gotcha. Is this a Meowth that looks a little different? It's an Alolan Meowth. You don't see the, you don't see them every day. Supposedly they're prideful and crafty. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, my bad. Doesn't, don't mean to offend. What's that? There's something you need help with? It says it lost its brooch, 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 while playing in the bamboo forest. Brooch? Brooch? It's demanding we go look for it. Hey, we don't have time for that. Go look for it yourself. It's saying the bamboo forest feels off today, so it doesn't want to go in there. That's your problem, not ours. Hey, now let's try to help it. How about we look for the brooch, brooch? I don't know how to say that word. If we have some spare time. I guess that's fine. The brooch, brooch, it's apparently real shiny. If we see anything that matches that description, let's get a closer look. All right, so we already have uh, three side quests doled out yes. to us. Hi there, thanks for stopping by. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Excuse me. Uh, thanks, our pizza dough is infused with bamboo charcoal, giving it an aroma and flavor unlike anything you've tasted. 
So it's infused with charcoal, or is it just cooked with, I don't know. You can see our pizza has real pizzazz. You sure have a lot of energy. Good pizza starts with good energy, that's my motto. Come on, let's ask them some questions. I'm actually in the middle of concocting a new type of pizza. It's a mushroom pizza that uses Tochukazo. It's got a hint, I, 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 I've got a hit on my hands, don't you think? This is some type of herbal medicine? That's right, good guess. The idea popped into my head when I saw a par Paris. I'm sure people would enjoy a health-minded pizza. Could just be a drug. Excuse me? We're looking for a woman in this photo. We hear her, she works here. Yeah, she does, that's Jessica. She's been working here for about two years now. Why are you looking for her? She's a friend of ours. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy to know you came by. I'm afraid she's not here at the moment, though. I believe she's gone to get bamboo charcoal and other pizza ingredients. That's an important job when you work at the restaurant. That's helpful to know, thank you. The bamboo charcoal shop is right over there. Why don't you take a look? Not a bad idea. You still hungry? Dino! Dino, di di I don't know. This Pokemon is hanging out near the restaurants. Keen observation for sure. A squirrel that <clears throat> is it here for a side mission as well. It's a squirrel that. What's wrong? What? You're tired of eating curry every day? Looks like his partner is the owner of the curry place. It says it likes the super spicy curry they make with t tomato berries, but it keeps saying, "I want something sweet. Give me something sweet." I wish I could help out. I wonder if there are any sweet berries nearby. Yeah, if we find one, let's bring it over here. There's only bamboo around here, though. Don't get your hopes up too high. But it's one of our local concerns, so we will try to find it. What's up, lady? Welcome to the hottest curry spot in Bamboo Burrow. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. What is this guy doing? Oh, no, sure. <laughs> All right. No, I'm not sure. Hey, it's Gumshoes, a stakeout Pokemon. It's staring at the curry place very intensely. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, what are you... Shoosh. Whoa, we just wanted to talk. No need to go all aggro. You're in the middle of a stakeout and can't chat, huh? Maybe there was some kind of incident. The people who come out of here always look like they're in pain. There must be something raw, rotten going on in there, or so it says. They probably look like they're in pain because they ate something spicy. That tracks. It is a curry place, after all. Nah, there's nothing rotten going on in there. They just ate something spicy. You look like you don't believe me. All right, then I'll have you try the curry yourself. Let's go, Tim. I didn't agree to this. So we gotta bring curry to him. Hey there, were you looking to buy some curry? Unfortunately, we just sold out. Sorry about that. What? Lucky for me, I had a lot of customers today, so I'm about to start prepping the curry for this evening. Sounds like it'll be a while before it's ready. But how am I gonna have gum shoes try the curry? Sorry you're disappointed, but there's nothing we can do. I'm just thinking out loud, mind you, but a customer was just here and he bought a lot of curry buns. Personally, I think his eyes were bigger than his stomach. Huh, maybe you wouldn't mind sharing one with us. What did this person look like? Hmm, I believe he was wearing a good green hoodie. Got it. Thank you. He might still be nearby. Let's go find him. You don't have a hoodie on. I've got all sorts of ceramics from around the world. Feel free to take a look. All right. Uh, lop. Where should we eat, lop? What's going on here? Hmm. Looks like no one's at the bamboo charcoal shop. Can I just take one then? <laughs> uh, I don't know what the what the protocol is. Mm -hmm. Hey Pikachu, what's this? It's bamboo charcoal. Local charcoal artisans burn bamboo to create it. Wow, that was a surprisingly thorough answer. Yeah, I guess it was. I wonder if the workshop is in the back. It's possible. I can hear some faint noises. Should we go check? Nah, best not disturb an artisan at work. Besides, you'd probably hear Jessica's voice if she was back there. Yeah, you're right. What, what, what are you? Excuse me, could you bring me some water? Are you okay? The smell. This curry bun is so spicy. Hey, you're the one who bought all the curry buns. That's a lot. I heard they're really good, so I bought a whole bunch. But I didn't think they'd be this spicy. Feel free to take some if you'd like. Are you sure? There's no way I can put a dent in these. This is perfect, huh, Tim? We'll take some then, thank you. Let's go bring this to Gumshoes. So gumshoes are just right here. Sure. Hey, I brought you some curry. Curry buns to be precise. 
If you think they smell amazing, just wait till you taste one. Whoa, don't scarf it down all at once. Are you okay? It looks like it's gonna breathe fire. Gumshoes seem like seem to like it. Extreme spiciness and all. It says it'll be keeping an even closer eye on the joint. Maybe it's thinking you can have the leftovers. All right, case closed. I suppose so. So we already did one side thing out of the way, and the rest, you know, we're just gonna get as soon as we can get to them. Hello there, huh? Is something wrong? Uh, this is the first time we've met, right? I think so. Why do you ask? You remind me of someone I met a while back who helped an injured Pokemon. I see. We must look similar, huh? Maybe you have a doppelganger, Tim. By the way, can I ask a few questions? The air here feels really clean, doesn't it? Why do you think that is? I don't know. Why? Because bamboo plants keep the air clean. If you put bamboo charcoal in your room, it'll keep the air clean there, too. I guess bamboo charcoal isn't just used for fuel. Maybe we can gift some as souvenirs. Good idea. Let's get some for Pablo and Holiday, too. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Nope, everything's the same as ever. Just look at Mrs. J Miss J. She's busy like always. Who's that? Miss Jessica. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Jessica, do you know where she is right now? I saw her leave the pizzeria earlier. Thanks. We'll keep looking around. Just where did she go, though? That's the oh. main thing. It's a sign that says this month's Bamboo News. The Bamboo Arts and Crafts Fair is returning this year. Come enjoy a variety of bamboo, rific artisanal goods, including furniture, dolls, and much, much more. Who knew this place hosted events like that? I want to check it out. Me too. We need to come back next month. Some, some. And then so this one, uh, oh, that's making his friend wait. Hey, Blossom, isn't there something you're forgetting? It's totally forgot about the performance. You're late. You should go to the, your meeting spot pronto. And then we have them all. I guess we do. Is that all of them? Yeah, the performance should be starting now. Then let's go watch. All right, great. <laughs> Looks like it just started. They're thanking us and telling us to enjoy the show. Oh, we will. They look so pretty. All right, so we've already done two local concerns. We gotta find a sweet berry. We gotta find uh, a brooch, a brooch in the bamboo forest, and we gotta stop this fight by calming them down. All right, not too bad. I don't know why uh, my girlfriend's just stopped back there talking to that guy. What's up, you two? Do you need something from my Sylvian? Sylvian? I don't think I do, but I'm glad your Sylvian's here. Brings good vibes. We need some good vibes, how about that? That's it, a Sylvian! What's up, Pikachu? Sylvian can project a calming aura. She should be able to break up Vika Volta and Heracross's fight. Really, let's ask then. Would it be all right if your Sylvian helped us out? Some Pokemon over there are about to start fighting. Sure, do you think you can help with that, Sylvian? Leave it to me, she says. I think she's saying she'll help. All right, let's hurry over. Oh, thank, oh, you two, please help. They can't hold back any longer. Heracross, Vika, they're fighting, but Sylvian's gonna hopefully calm them down. Looks like we made it just in time. Work your magic, Sylvian. There you go, thank you for calming them here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Whoa, that Heracross and my Vika Volta have calmed down. Sylvian can make everyone feel warm and happy. I'd say it worked. Yeah, it really did. Hey, keep it together. So you're the ones who asked that girl for help. You saved the day. Thank you. Oh, no. Sylvian and her partner deserve all the credit. Isn't my Sylvian amazing? Sylvian, yeah, you both did an incredible job. Thank you so much. Seems like our work here is done. No more fighting. All right, you two. All right, good. So that one's done. We've already. I can't believe we've already done with... Well, <laughs> with uh, three of them. Wait, was there something else they wanted to say? Yeah. She likes Bamboo Burrow because of its kind people and Pokemon. I'm sure this neighborhood will stay that way as long as you're here. I'm here to ruin this town. Now she's talking to him. So we're looking for something shiny and uh, something else, too. What's up with you guys? I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat there every day, no problem. <laughs> Is that good? Oh man, I don't even have the words to describe how good it is. She must be talking about the pizzeria where Jessica works. Let's ask her about it. Right, excuse me, can I ask you a few questions? So tell us about the pizza. The pizzeria in this neighborhood is famous among pizza hmm. enthusiasts. Famous, huh? Now I want to try it. We can get some after we finish our investigation. 
Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Let's see, something strange happened yesterday at the pizzeria. What, at the pizzeria? Tim, if it happened yesterday, that must mean, yeah, can you tell me more about what happened? They served me something that wasn't on the menu. Does that mean they consider me a regular now? Wait, what was that strange thing? One thing's for sure, she really loves that pizzeria. And then what about this little Paris here? It hosts mushroom parasites. He says his partner is obsessed with pizza. That must be a lot to deal with. Oh, I forgot. I can talk to him. So, about Bamboo Burrow. There he is. <laughs> he says the manager of the pizzeria and the folks at the Herbal Remedy Shop are always glancing at him. I guess they really like him. Maybe they want his mushrooms. Hey. Have you witnessed anything unusual lately? Nothing in particular. Well, sorry to bother you. Me too. Oh, it's the quiz. Oh, hi, Detective. What a coincidence seeing you here. You weren't by chance following me, were you? It's the quiz, Professor. She came all the way here? Uh, no, we didn't follow you. We just had something important to do here, but now we have run into each other. Does What does that mean? Yep, that's right. There's only one thing for us to do. I've been here a few times for my research, but it's always exciting. There are all kinds of Pokemon here. Sigh, I don't see any way out of this. Okay, here's question number one. What Pokemon bites and eats anything it comes across? Eats anything it comes across, huh? Maybe we can find it hanging out somewhere that has food. Great idea, let's go see. Let me know when you figure out which Pokemon it is. So we actually have six quests to do today. Uh, what eats anything it comes across? Is it this thing? I don't think so. Is it this guy? Who's this guy? I didn't see this before. Oh, oh yeah, he's still hungry, he does. Hey Pikachu, this Pokemon keeps biting everything around it, then it's gotta be a dino. It bites anything that moves, so be careful. It says it likes to eat all the food the tourists drop. That's quite an appetite, which means it must be the answer to the quiz professor's question. Let's go tell her. There's no way to run. <laughs> all right, so next question, please. It's a dino. <laughs> And then, uh, don't get too close to it or you'll both get bit. They pretty much eat everything. No wonder it hangs out near restaurants. I just hope it doesn't get into trouble if it bites a Pokemon. Question number two. What sharp-eyed Pokemon keeps watch from above for anyone suspicious? It must have a distinctive eyes. I don't think I saw any Pokemon with sharp eyes around here. It may not be on the street. Let me know when you find the answer. All right, I'm just going to assume that it's over here then. Since they said it may not be on the street. What a huge gate. I wonder if it's, yep, locked. If this gate weren't locked, we could get into the bamboo forest through here. We don't want to go forcing our way in, so let's try asking the people in the area for information. <laughs> oh dear. Did someone scream just now? It came from up ahead. Let's go check it out. Oh. What happened? Oh, he's back. Oh, I don't know. The charcoal shop master. Meow, meow. Purveyor. <sighs> Are you okay? Oh, there's Jessica, by the way. Oh, don't worry. I just gone and thrown out my back again. Ow, Jessica, Rachel, Tim, friends of Jessica. Are you? Of course, my back decided to give out now. Uh, is something wrong? No, no, just sitting with a memory. Sorry for the trouble, Jessica. Please don't be sorry, just take it easy. Wish I could at least deliver the bamboo charcoal, but I'm out of stock, sorry to say. In that case, I can go to the kiln and get some charcoal. I was about to go to the bamboo forest to collect some pizza ingredients anyway. Mighty kind of you to offer, but I fear the bamboo charcoal might be too heavy for, for one person to manage alone. We can help. I'm up for that. What do you think, Jessica? Thanks, you two. That'd be a big help. Much obliged. Sorry to put you both to work after you came all this way to see Jessica. We're happy to help, really. We'll give it our all. I'm getting pumped up just thinking about it. Thanks, Meowth. Take care of the boss for me, okay? That bamboo forest is beyond the gate, right? It was locked earlier. What? That apprentice of mine, did he lock the gate when he left for the charcoal kiln? Hmm, I told him to keep the gate open from morning to eve. Ow, easy, getting worked up isn't going to help your back. Here, take the key and be careful out there. We will, thank you. Seems like those people targeting Jessica haven't made it here yet. Yeah, thankfully. Hey, Jessica, how are you doing? You haven't seen anyone suspicious around, have you? I don't think so. Why? Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Come on, let's hurry up and get this done. All right. Yes. 
Sorry you have to deal with this. I know you came here to have fun. It's no big deal, seriously. Yeah, what, the, what are friends for? I don't mean to rush you, but do you mind if we head over to the bamboo forest to get the charcoal and ingredients now? It's just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, also, I guess, talk to Meow yeah. or whatever. Uh, about Bamboo yeah. Burrow. At first he thought there wasn't much to do here, but now he actually likes it that way. We should move here too, huh? I see the appeal, but there's not a single cafe around here. Oh man, how would you survive? Meow, meow, meow. Tell us about Jessica. He says that he and Jessica have been together for a long time now. She got a lot happier after she moved to this neighborhood. She enjoyed her old job a lot, but she was exhausted all the time. She seems to get on well with the people here. Sounds like she made the right decision for herself. All right, let's let's go. Who's this? Tana! Huh? Why is this Berserk Pokemon sign here? R could be why. Ooh. We dealt with that years ago. No need for this now. Now yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> You can't do that, Pikachu. Pikachu! No, he fainted again. No, no. Worked himself up. Oh, boy. The call of the void. This is like a flashback. Hmm. Warning. Berserk Pokemon. This is definitely the spot. Excuse me. Yo! Oh, sorry, I can explain. Here. It's on the card. Oh, well, thanks. Harry Goodman. You're a detective? Huh? I'm not just a detective. Huh? I'm a great detective. <laughs> detective? Harry! <laughs> Convinced. Huh, well, great detective or not, I can't say I've heard of you. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know if you're in the know, you know. Right, so you're here on official business then. Did something happen to warn investigation by a great detective? Yep, that incident with the berserk Pokemon. What, you came all the way here for that? We reported it to the police. There's no need to put yourself in danger. Plus, the bamboo forest is closed off right now. Right, understandably. It would be dangerous if the berserk Pokemon got into this area. We all came to an agreement that we should keep the gate locked until the police give us permission to reopen it. For now, the boss is holding onto the key. That all makes sense. The safety of everyone in this neighborhood is the top priority. Who is this boss you mentioned? The master of the charcoal shop, and he's also responsible for tending to the bamboo forest. Hence why he has the key to the gate. Well, all that's very helpful. Thanks. Sorry to bother you at such a busy time. Your pizzeria must be opening for lunch soon. Well, how did you know I run a pizzeria? The flour and sauce in your clothes are fresh, plus I can smell the bamboo charcoal on you. Huh, I guess you really are a great detective. Well, I'm going to head back now. I'll stop by your shop later. Hmm. There have been multiple eyewitness reports of Pokemon going berserk in the city, but I didn't think those same incidents would happen in a peaceful place like this. Seems like something's afoot in Rhyme City. I'll start my investigation by talking to locals. Great detective tip number 12, use those legs while investigating. Never skip leg day. So I'm playing as Harry, which is interesting. Now she's here. She loves pizza. I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in the neighborhood. Mm. I could eat it every day, no problem. I've heard their pizza is famous, but eating it every day seems like overkill. Trust me, you'll understand it once you try. All right, I will. I'd love to hear what you think of the pizza. Is this your first time in Bamboo Burrow? Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't it? Between the fantastic air quality and the delicious food, life's pretty good here. The other day I heard crackling noises and a deep roar come from the bamboo forest. I ca came out of nowhere and totally freaked me out. All I could think was I was making sure my poor Paris was safe. <sighs> that must have been scary. Were you hurt? No, I was okay. I heard later that it was a berserk Pokemon making all that noise. The deep roar you mentioned is a helpful piece of information, but it's still difficult to guess what kind of Pokemon it was. It looks like an Ursa ring from <laughs> that picture. The bamboo forest is usually so quiet and serene, but we're not allowed to go in now. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the warning sign about the berserk Pokemon. The folks at the pizzeria get a lot of their ingredients from the bamboo forest. At this rate, they're going to be in trouble. The bamboo boo forest plays an important role in the lives of the people here. Having it closed off must create some serious problems. Is there any reason to talk to the Pokemon? Hmm. I've heard about the mushrooms on Paris' back are called... Oh, Tochukaso. Apparently, they're pretty rare. 
Don't worry, I won't try to take him from you. That's why he was being stared at from the others. What's up, boy? I'm so bored. Hmm. Hey, kiddo, why the long face? I'm not allowed to play in the bamboo forest anymore. Because of the berserk Pokemon, right? Yeah, I used to go there every day, but now it's suddenly too dangerous. I understand your frustration, but I think it's best to play this one safe. You can play somewhere else for the time being, right? Sure, but I don't, don't just go in there to play. I help run errands, too. Is that right? Good for you. Plus, like, I was the, there first, not the berserk Pokemon. The bamboo forest has always been my spot. I see why you're upset, but... Hey, mister, if you ever see the berserk Pokemon, tell them to stop, okay? <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. I'll let them know. <clears throat> Ow. Did you hurt your back? Ah, customer, sorry you have to see me like this. I promise this month's batch of bamboo charcoal is in better shape than my back is. Oh no, please stay where you are. Hmm, a detective. Not just a de sorry, force of habit. Yes, I'm here to investigate the berserk Pokemon. I like to take a look around the bamboo forest if you don't mind. I won't cause any trouble. The gate to the bamboo forest is locked. We can't let any berserk Pokemon into this area. The gate's staying closed for public safety, you hear? I don't care if you want to investigate. I am budging on this. Uh, all right, all right. Can I at least ask you a few questions then? Look at you with your detective notebook and all. What do you want to know? Hmm. I heard this area is famous for its bamboo forest and bamboo charcoal. Yep, right you are. Bamboo charcoal's got antibacterial and deodorizing properties and it can improve the quality of water and soil too. Wonderful product, really. Just put it in a room and it makes everything better. No wonder it's famous. You have my loyal customers to thank for that. If only I could make more. Do you make the charcoal all by yourself? Pretty much. I reckon I should start looking for an apprentice. Say, you wouldn't happen to know any promising young upstarts who might be interested. Well, I have a son and a daughter, and they sure seem promising to me. I'm not sure they're too interested in a career making charcoal, though. Yeah, best to let your children choose their own paths in life. Thanks all the same. I'm sure I'll find an apprentice yet. Tell me about the Berserk Pokemon, though. The Berserk Pokemon. Reckon it showed up about a week ago. Never seen it myself, but I've heard it making noise and causing all kinds of ruckus. Three days ago, I went to the charcoal kiln and found it wrecking up something fierce. Interesting. That Berserk Pokemon might have done it. Interesting. Was there anything else unusual about the area? No, just the wrecked kiln. Nothing seemed to be stolen. Tried to clean, clean it up, and that's when I hurt my back. Haven't been back to the bamboo forest since. That's probably for the best. You should take it easy and leave the cleanup to the other folks here. Once my back's straightened out, I'm getting back to work like you wouldn't believe. I'll be making trips to the bamboo forest too, of course. And I ain't letting some berserk Pokemon scare me out of running my bamboo charcoal shop. <laughs> I like your spirit. Sounds like I should pay that wretched charcoal kiln a visit. Now then. So about the gate. I told you, I ain't opening it. Detective or otherwise, no one's allowed in. It's too dangerous. What if you run into the berserk Pokemon? I ain't opening the gate, and I ain't giving you the key either. Ugh, my back. All right, all right. I hear you. Now then. What should I do? Now then. I gotta borrow the key to the gate in order to get into the bamboo forest. Problem is the master of the charcoal shop's got that key and he's a real stubborn piece of work. He's not gonna give it to me if I tell him I need it for my investigation. No, I need a reason to enter the bamboo forest that'll actually convince him to give me the key. I just need info, any kind really. Something to point me in the right direction. Maybe the people around here know something. Hmm. Let me think this through. You can convince him by saying you want to investigate the charcoal chill kill. Uh, you could say that, but let's uh, let's continue asking around, see what people have to say. We might be able to come up with other other things. All right. Johnny. Yes. Hi there, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Harry, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Good Burrow grief. Pizza. You're uh, a lot livelier than the last time I saw you. But of course, I'm here at the pizzeria. Good pizza starts with good energy, that's my motto. So, how about some pizza for lunch? Sounds great, I'd love a slice, but before that, can I ask you a few questions? I'm happy to help you with your detective work in whatever way I can. The Bamboo, Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria in this neighborhood's most delicious pizza attraction. Our pizza is baked to perfection with an aroma to match. Okay. That sounds delicious. I'm sure it goes well with coffee, too. Absolutely. Please try some for yourself. I can picture it now. Enjoying a slice of pizza and steaming cup of coffee while a breeze rolls through the bamboo forest. I can see why your pizza shop is so popular, right? Oh, by the way, this is a pizzeria, not a pizza shop. Is there a difference? Trust me, there's a difference. <laughs> All right, what about the Berserk Pokemon? The day the, b the Bamboo Forest got closed off, I saw some small Pokemon sumo wrestling. Weird. 
A small Pokemon, though. Sumo Wrestling, now that's a rare sight. Could they have been the same Pokemon that went berserk? No, there's no way. It's not impossible, though. Did you notice anything else? Well, I've heard some Pokemon cries and noises, but I never actually saw them. Can't really give you many concrete details, I'm afraid. I see, thanks. Small Pokemon Sumo Wrestling, huh? Agreed. The closure of the bamboo forest must have caused you a lot of trouble. How are you holding up? Well, I need bamboo charcoal to run my pizzeria, so if the bamboo forest stays closed for too long, I won't be able to make my famous pizza. I hope all this gets resolved soon so I can start making charcoal runs again. Me too. I'll do my best to help you out. So that's a, that could be a possible reason to go. It's for a charcoal run. Welcome, how about a souvenir to remember your trip? Okay. Sure, I'll take a look. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I bet you do great business. I'm quite proud of my selection, yes, though it might not make much of a difference soon. Why is that? The Berserk Pokemon, of course. I'm worried customers will stop coming here if the situation keeps getting worse. That's bad news for a business and a tourist area. God dang it, I kicked my foot. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Ow. I kicked my chair. I kicked my heel on my on like this really hard part of my chair. Oh my goodness, gosh. I tried to just just go through it and I was just holding back the pain. Oh my God, that really hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt so bad. How did I kick it? I just like, oh my gosh. Oh, I like the, the, the part right above your heel, that little tendon area, a tender tendon of mine. Oh. I, oh man, I tried to just like stomach through it, but uh, I just couldn't help but exclaim and, and with a passionate displeasure for kicking that part of the chair. I'm so sorry. That's bad news for a business in a tourist area. I'm actually here to investigate the berserk Pokemon. I am a detective. Oh really, that's a relief. I'd love to help you out with your investigation. Tell me about this burrow. Jeez, my leg hurts. Bamboo Burrow is a wonderful place. The people in Pokemon are all terrifically kind. Hmm. I wonder if the lush scenery and... Gosh, I dropped a can. <laughs> What's going on over here? I wonder if the lush scenery and fresh air have anything to do with that. I'm throwing away some cans. I have a trash can of recyclables. I'd love to come here one day just to sightsee. Hard to enjoy it properly while I'm making a case. Please do. Make sure to stop by here again, too. For sure. Tell me about this berserk Pokemon. Uh... The Berserk Pokemon appeared in the Bamboo Forest rather recently. There were crackling noises coming from the Bamboo Forest, and then I heard a Pokemon go roar. Right after that, some people came running out of the Bamboo Forest. They said they saw a shadow with red eyes going berserk deep in the forest. Hmm, hmm deep in the Bamboo Forest, huh? Do you think I could talk to those people? I believe they were all tourists. I'm afraid they're long gone. I see, that's too bad. I really wish I could talk to more witnesses about this. I was actually in the bamboo forest yesterday to access the storage area. Thankfully, I didn't encounter any berserk Pokemon, but a bunch of bamboo stalks were broken and the paths were ruined. Sigh, it was devastating. I can imagine that wasn't a pleasant sight. Still, I'm glad you were okay. By the way, why did a souvenir shop clerk like you need to go into the forest? The master of the charcoal shop hurt its back three days ago, so I went to get supplies for him. Luckily, the storage area was undamaged. It was just the elevator that was broken. Oh, did the berserk Pokemon do that too? No, it happens quite often. The boss always fixes it. Uh, please don't tell the charcoal shop master about the broken elevator. If he finds out, he'll insist that he fix it himself despite his injured back. I could fix the broken elevator. Gotcha, my lips are sealed. Hmm, sounds like that elevator is important to the master of the charcoal shop. Well, then your lips won't be sealed okay. if you use that. Thanks for your help. Living already, Detective? Surely you need a few more souvenirs. Ha, huh, you're a good salesman, aren't you? I actually have just the thing for you. It's a hat. How about one for your kids? Oh, that's where you got the hat from. Oh, hey, it's a kid-sized detective hat. Good call. Great detective tip number 13. Always make sure to look your very best. That would probably fit Sophia's head better than Tim's. Okay, I'll take this. As for Tim, I'll get him this water bottle. Thank you very much. I'll wrap these up for you. Thanks. I hope they like their gifts. All right, I better solve this case before Sophia grows out of his hat. Time out to this start hat. deducing. Yeah, time to start deducing then. We got... Uh, the elevator, obviously. Hmm. Let me think this through. Based on all the inf how can I convince him? Uh, I want to see Pokemon Sumo Wrestling. I want to... Uh, no, I want to fix the elevator. That's going to be what does it, I, I think. See. Whenever the elevator's on the fritz, the old charcoal shop master will bend over backwards to fix it, which can't be good for that injured back of his. That's what the souvenir shop owner said, more or less. All right, so it's extremely important, so I'll, I'll negotiate 
to fix it, probably. That's probably how it's gonna work. I see this of what's gonna happen. Okay. All right, and then uh, let's see. Was there anything else over here like that would be useful? No, we actually reached the end of it. So let's go then this way. And he's gonna be the guy with the hurt back right over here. <clears throat> hey there, do you have a minute? Oh, it's you again. I'm still not handing over the key. I know. I'm actually here to talk about the elevator in the storage area. I heard it breaks down a lot. Sure does, and I'm the o always the one who's gonna fix it. Wait, it ain't gone and broke itself again, has it? Keep me in the dark again, will they? Why well, oughta? Oh, my back. Easy there. They didn't tell you because they all want you to rest. Now, how do you usually fix it? Oh, I just give it a few whacks of some bamboo. Like it's like playing the drums. Seriously, no wonder the elevator keeps breaking. Your back's never gonna heal if you keep that up. I'll go fix the elevator. An amateur like you wouldn't know the first thing about fixing the elevator. Stay out of it. Hey, I might not seem like it, but I'm a pretty good with machines. I can even fix my own car when it needs work. Is that right? You sure you can fix it? I'll at least do better than hit hitting with bamboo. What do you say? Fine, take the key. I'd rather suffer my back than you right now anyway. I figure you'll do some investigating while you're in the bamboo forest. You meet, uh, you meet with any danger in there, you better run for it. Hear me? Sure thing. Thanks. I got the key. Now I'm going in. There we go. Oh, jeez. What was that? It was a berserk Pokemon. Okay. Just got to put the key in there and hunt. Huh, this gate is surprisingly heavy. All right, it's open. Yeah, some things are broken. Hmm. It's so quiet here, not even the slightest sign of a Pokemon. All right, let's see what, what I can find. Do I have to investigate this? Whoa, didn't expect to find something so soon. Hmm. All right, I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene to find out what's happened here. All right, so the Berserk Pokemon came through here, and we're gonna look. Okay. Uh, don't miss anything. We got, uh, these small footprints. We got the big footprints. Hmm. Pokemon footprints. Big ones and small ones. Alright. Judging by the depth of the big ones, the Pokemon that planted them must have been heavy. Looks like the bigger footprints keep going straight down the path. And as for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Looks like they round the corner up ahead and continue towards a side path. Don't forget this broken fence. Hmm. You need a lot of force to leave scratch marks that deep. Could they have been made by some kind of machine? No, maybe a Pokemon's claw? And then we have a puddle of pee. <laughs> no, no, I see scorches on the ground. A big one and a small one. All right. Electricity, maybe? I don't know. The nearby grass and bamboo don't look burned, though. Doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the scorches were made by an electric-type move. And of course, the down bamboo. Broken bamboo stalks. Looks like they all broke at once. So it's based on the coloration likely happened this morning. That's all there is to see here. Good. Time to start deducing. It was a Pokemon. Okay. All right, Pokemon battled each other. Yeah, definitely Pokemon battling each other. Out of those options, definitely this one. I see. All right, so, with all that said, if I follow both sets of footprints, I should be able to find the Berserk Pokemon. Great. I just hope it'll lead me to the Berserk Pokemon. So he's gonna keep going and keep following footprints. Two sets. Huh? Is that? Is that? That's a little one, right? Is he Berserk? Hey, you okay? Is that Detective Pikachu? 
Easy, easy! I'm not gonna try anything. You're protecting your friend, aren't you? Whoa! Uh, sorry! Sorry! Wow. Hmm. I guess there are two Pokemon that made the smaller footprints. Looks like uh, Pancham's injured too. I'm gonna take a look and try not to t take off that Pikachu even more while I'm at it. Now then. I won't hurt you. I'm just gonna take a look. Hmm. Pancham looks exhausted and is injured too. It must be feeling pretty lousy. The small footprints I saw earlier must have been Pancham and Pikachu's. They were probably a attacked by the big Pokemon. Hmm. Pikachu is protecting Pancham. It looks pretty worked up. I guess it doesn't like humans. That's right. It would make sense if the scorch marks I saw on the ground earlier were caused by this Pikachu using in the electric type move. Is there anything else? Hmm. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Seems like it can't move its arms and legs too well. Maybe it's paralyzed. Okay. All right, he has a good sense of what's going on. Good. Hmm. Pancham's low on energy and paralyzed too. It's in worse shape than I thought. Hmm. So what can I use to treat Pancham's in 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 injury? I might find something if I search around the town. I just need to keep looking until I find something. Hang in there, Pancham. Help is on the way. All right, so I'm gonna go look in the town. I do wanna look over here though. Just to see. Fungus. Fungus. There's like a... Oh wow, this place is pretty... Hmm. Okay, I'll check it out after he helps pinch him. Hmm. Did something just move? <laughs> it's a ship free. Guardian of the Bamboo Forest. Oh, it's a ship for you scare me, pal. Or maybe I scared it. Hey, my bad. I'll be careful next time. <laughs> Sorry to bug you while you're resting. I'm just here to investigate the area. So I do need to go into town. Bidoof. Bidoof. Hmm. What's in that hole? Looks pretty deep. I used to poke around holes like this when I was a kid. I remember inside finding diglets, I think is what he said. Hmm. I think I heard something just now. Hi. Happiny. Loves egg-shaped rocks. It's a happiny. The thing you're holding is an oval stone, right? Not an egg. Oh, you're giving it to me? Thanks. You're the one generous Pokemon. Okay, so now we're going to go back to town to find something to heal this guy. Back to Bamboo Burrow. Let's see. What say you? Is something wrong? Hmm. I found an injured Pokemon. Do you know where I can get something to heal it? You should go to the herbal remedy shop. Their stuff works for everything. Hey, yeah, herbal medicine might just do the trick. I'll head over there now. Thanks. Where's the herbal medicine shop? Yes. I'm happy to help you with your detective work in whatever way I can. Apparently a Pikachu recently started living in the bamboo forest. An electric type Pokemon in a place full of grass and bug type Pokemon, it really stands out. I just hope it hasn't run into any berserk Pokemon. Hmm. I actually encountered that Pikachu earlier. It seemed pretty wary of people. Oh yeah, I'm glad to hear it's okay. Wait, does that mean you managed to borrow the key from the charcoal shop master? Sure did. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? I came across an injured Pokemon and it's in pretty rough shape. Oh no, an injured Pancham? Hmm, first and foremost, it needs to get its strength back. I know, take this! Wait, a whole pizza? That's right, it's made with healthy herbs! Great. I'm I'm not gonna eat it. That pancham will be back to full strength in no time once it has a belly full of this. 
Oh, I see. Well, thanks. Well, that's got to work then, right? It'd be funny if it didn't work at all. It was just like, well, that was good. He's not as hungry as he used to be. So back to the bamboo forest. Hello, hello. Ah. Pantone will be safe with Pikachu. I'll go look for something that can heal it. I thought he gave me the pizza. The pizza. Okay. It's the pizza, right? No. no. But that wouldn't cure his paralysis. Oh, dang. Well, I thought... Okay, okay well... That was the only thing. All right, so dang. I, I really thought that that was it. I thought I got it done. But that's not how the game works. You gotta get multiple things and then make the best choice. I really thought the pizza, because he said it had herbs. I thought maybe it would just help the paralysis, but I guess I'm just not that smart. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what we can do. I mean, he was right to go to the herbal shop. Uh, what say, do you have souvenirs? Oh, welcome. Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. An herbal remedy shop with no herbal remedies? Just, just a shop then? We've sold through most of our inventory. The owner left to get more ingredients, but he's still not back. Guess I caught you at a bad time. Not really, I'm just holding on the fort here, so I got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, is that is this your card? Let's see here, a detective? Wow, you don't meet one of these every day. Ask away, I guess. I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. Apparently there's a Pokemon going berserk in the bamboo forest to cause all sorts of trouble. I wonder if it was just a, in a bad mood. Maybe I'll give it some herbal medicine if we run into each other. Good grief. Love where your head's at, but that'd be pretty dangerous. Better steer clear. Still, I wonder if herbal medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief to just about any ailment. I take some every day, which is why I'm always full of energy. <laughs> well, that's one mystery solved. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. Hmm. The bamboo forest is closed off right now, though. Is that why the shop owner's away? Yeah, he had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. Hmm. Could you help me with something? What's up? We only have herbal med we only have herbal medicine here. And that's exactly what I need. There's an injured panchin that could use some attention. He's very weak and I think paralyzed too. You know, I think I have just a thing. It should be right here. This heal powder should cure his paralysis. Great. He'll snort that. And then be fine. Perfect. Thanks a million. I wanted to give you the energy root too, but I think we're out. Sorry about that. No worries at all. The heal powder on its own will be a huge help. Let's talk about the energy root. So I didn't mean to exit out of there. So about the energy root, do you know where I can find one? I like to track one down myself if possible, so I'd appreciate any bits of info you can offer, assuming there aren't trade secrets or something. So I'm not really supposed to share that kind of stuff. Yeah, I figured. Guess it's worth a shot. The owner's son always goes out to the bamboo forest to collect the energy roots. He's got real knack for finding them, but he won't tell us adults how he does it. The owner just leaves the job to his son at this point. He won't share any tips with any of the adults, huh? Interesting. Where is he now? He used to collect rocks in bamboo forest before it was closed off. Now I think he just plays around there. Thanks. I'll go see if I can find him. So we have some of this. We could use energy root as well, apparently. A concoction of them all might work. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, kiddo. I heard your dad owns a local uh, herbal remedy shop. You visit our shop. Find anything good? Yeah, I got some heal powder, but they're out of energy roots, though. Oh, energy roots. There's a trick to finding those. So I've heard. Could you give me some pointers? I need to find one to help an injured Pokemon. Um, so you go inside the bamboo forest, right? And then the energy roots are... Are where? I don't know. Uh, should I really share my secret? It's kind of cool being the only one who can find them. How about this? I'll tell you if you can get me an oval stone. I actually have hmm. one. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. Let's consider it a symbol of our friendship. Take good care of it, okay? I will. Thank you. I'll tell you my secret to finding energy roots now. Behold! A berry. Yep, and a nab berry. It's Bunnelby's favorite. If you see a hole in the ground, try holding one of these near it. Bunnelby will smell the berry and come out. Once it does, look inside the hole. That's where the energy roots are, huh? All right, I'll give it a shot. Thanks. Good luck, mister. I hope it can help that injured Pokemon. All right, let's go. Back to Bamboo Forest. 
And we shall see. I don't know how, if I have to combine them all. I mean, maybe. I'm lucky because I already went here, so I don't have to go back to, you know. Hmm. A hole in the ground. Is this it? If this works, Bunnelby should come out. Boom. Oh, it's Bunnelby Shoveler Extraordinaire. Because he's got ears, you get it? Oh, Bunnel. Whoa, scared me. It poop. <laughs> it popped out before I could even take out the Nanab Berry. Hey, hey, don't go shoving your ear in my pocket. What? You took my Nanab Berry. Oh, well, I guess it was meant for you anyway. You take that, and I'll take a look in this hole. It's pretty deep, huh? There's something in here. One, two, three. Whoa, look at its shape. This is definitely an energy root. Great. Let's deduce. I just want just give him it all. Roll it up. Okay. All right. So we're going to give him, uh, yeah, no, we're not going to go random. We're going to go these combined. This will definitely do it. Hmm. Good. I'm not totally dumb. Panchem's low on energy and paralyzed. The obvious answer for treating those two things is an energy root and heal powder. I'll bring them to Panchem right away. Would you trust a stranger, though, just bring you drugs? Like, here, take these herbs, this powder, and this root. Okay. All right, I got all the medicine I need to heal Panchem. So let's go heal Panchem, then. And he's going to be over here. Here we go. Okay. Sorry for the wait. I brought you some medicine. Nice job keeping Pancham safe, Pikachu. Is this the same Pika. Detective Pikachu? Pika. Wait, look. I swear. Let's I'm just trying to arm. help your friend. That's all. Pika. There, there. Sit tight for a second. You'll feel better after you eat this. <laughs> Tastes bad, huh? That's how you know it's working. Great. <laughs> Seems like you're doing a lot better. Now, question is, who would do such a thing to pinch him? <laughs> Oh, jeez. I hear it. That cry. Hmm. A Pokemon roar. Sounds like it came from the far end of the forest. Am I finally going to meet this berserk Pokemon? Pika. You got to you gotta at least trust me a little while now, right? A little now, right? Nice one, Panchim. I can tell you're feeling better. Way to hang in there. Go deeper into the forest. What is this onion-looking thing? Oh, it's uh, yeah, I know that that guy. I forgot what the guy's called, but he has an onion as a, like a weapon or something, right? Let's go deeper. It's a guardian of the forest there. What's happening? A hoot hoot arrives exactly on time. Those eyes. Must be this way. Looks like a treacherous climb. Hmm. That hoot hoot looked pretty panicked. I bet it saw something terrifying. I it probably saw the same thing I'm looking for. The berserk Pokemon. The berserk Pokemon must be near where that hoot hoot was. I'll investigate the area and figure out how I can Okay, so listen. Investigate the area. Hmm. All right. Hmm. These footprints are the same ones I saw by the entrance. It seems safe to assume they were made by the Berserk Pokemon. It'll be difficult to follow the, these footprints with so many bamboo stalks in the way. Hmm. These bamboo stalks are broken in the same way as the ones by the entrance. They, the breaks seem pretty fresh too. There's so many fallen bamboo stalks blocking the way. I don't think there's any space for me to get through. Okay. I think that's all there is to see here. Hmm. Now that I'm getting a proper look, this is quite the sight. Hmm. 
doesn't seem like there's much to see here, but you never know till you look. I'll go ahead and investigate. Hmm. This huge boulder must have broke apart when it fell down here. Now it's more like a cliff face. Hmm, this boulder's pretty tough. I don't think it'll break apart any further. This looks like it used to be a path up the hill, but it's been completely eroded. I'm not sure if this boulder fell naturally or the berserk Pokemon knocked it loose, but either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. Okay. I think that's all there is to see here. All right. Time to start to. So we just climb, right? Yeah, we just climb. What a great detective! Okay. We're just gonna climb. We're not gonna go in the hole, <laughs> in the hole, and out the other end. No, I think we're gonna climb. I see. The boulder crushed the path leading up the hill, but the path should still continue at the top of the hill. If I climb up the boulder, I should be able to get to that path and make my way to the berserk Pokemon. All right, great. Okay. If I climb the boulder, I should find a path. Getting back down might be tough, though. I'll figure that out later. Time to get climbing. All right. All right, then. Just a little climb. No problem. <sighs> Let's go find the Berserk Pokemon. Just a bit more to go. This is going in a mine or something, or a cave. Good grief. It's been a while since I did something like this. I'm definitely out of shape. That's the path. This ought to lead me closer to the Berserk Pokemon. Is this the entr entrance to the storage area? If so, I need to fix an elevator in there, but first I gotta find the Berserk Pokemon. Who are they? Who are they? And what are they up to? What are they up to? What are they doing? Pika. Hmm? Pika Wait, hold on! <laughs> Who's there? Oh boy. Oh boy. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Who? Us? Just gathering bamboo shoots. It sure doesn't look that way. <laughs> All right, I shut him up. Let's go. Uh oh. This way! He's bad! Rescue Pikachu! What's up? What do I do? Run for it, Pikachu! The button has been mashed. They fall. Someone better fix that elevator. Oh, Pikachu! Pikachu, wake up! <sighs> kind of a flashback there, huh? <laughs> Phew, you're awake. Sorry, I took a bite. I took a bite of a, like a Fig Newton bar. <laughs> I thought we were going to get a cutscene. I thought that they are going to talk. Oh yeah, Tim. <laughs> Guess I fell asleep. Excuse me. Hey Pikachu, this isn't the first time that's happened. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. Whoa, whoa, I doze off for a bit and you're acting like I'm about to keel over or something. That's not what I meant, but okay, sorry. It's fine anyway, I just remembered. I've been here before a long time ago. Huh? What do you mean? You just remember mm -hmm. this place? What do you remember, Pikachu? I came all the way to Bamboo Burrow after hearing about the Berserk Pokemon. 
While I was here, I borrowed a gate key from the charcoal shot master. I battled a lair on and, uh, oh yeah, the bamboo forest is also where Harry and I first met. Takes me back. You borrowed a key and met my dad? Hey, did something happen to Pikachu? He fainted earlier, now he's acting like nothing's wrong. Mm, yeah, he's fine, I think. Who, me? Never better. I got a few more questions. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you borrowed the key to the gate? I came to this town because I heard that a Pokemon had gone berserk in the bamboo forest, but I couldn't get into the forest to investigate like I wanted because the gate was locked. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man, was, a, was he stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. Hmm. Is... Is... I'm so confused. Is he like a blend of his dad? And, and He's got Harry's memories, at least. You borrowed the key from the charcoal shop master? Yeah, in exchange for fixing the elevator. I guess you do need the key to open this gate, but... Hmm. You battled mm -hmm. a Laron? Did you really battle a Laron last time you were here? Yeah, battled it twice in the bamboo forest. Once when I saved Pancham, and then again when I saved Harry. That Laron did not know when to quit. It just kept coming at us, but I hit it with my electric type moves. Hmm. Pikachu uses the electric type moves? Maybe you could still use them back then? You met Dad here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to have that one. You met Dad mm -hmm. here? So, about the first time you met Dad, that was back when I was investigating the bamboo forest. I found some footprints, and then I crossed the river to get to, into the bamboo forest and wound up living there for a while. Hmm. When I saw Harry, I jumped out because I thought he was dangerous. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm, I get that's where you two met, but huh, I'm not quite sure I can make sense of your story. Seems like a lot happened when Pikachu and Dad first met, but some of these pieces aren't quite fitting together. I'll have to organize all this information. Something about Pikachu's story doesn't add up. I wonder if he's mixing up his dreams with reality. He'd probably get mad if I suggested that, though. I've got to clarify some things with the match he settles down. For now, I'll go over what Pikachu said and try to figure out which part of his story doesn't add up. Probably the one where he took the key or whatever. Oh! Pikachu's story seems to contradict himself. Let me think it through and think which part doesn't add up. Pikachu supposedly crossed the river to enter the bamboo forest. That doesn't add up because you actually need a key. Here's his moves. How about that one? Good. If I remember correctly, Pikachu said he met Dad in the bamboo forest. Since Pikachu entered the bamboo forest by crossing a river, Dad had to have been the one who used the key to open the gate. Maybe you heard that story from Dad, got the details mixed up, and thinks he's the one who got the key. Are you sure you're all right, Pikachu? Shouldn't you stay behind and get some rest? You worry too much, Tim. Let's help Jessica first and ask questions later. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect her if the, the, those people who are after her decide to show up. Good call. All right, Pikachu, let's go. Yeah. What's yes. up, guys? Let me know right away if Pikachu starts feeling ill again. Will do. Thank you. Yes. Is Pikachu going to be okay? Yeah, he's all good now. Thanks for checking in. So here we go. <laughs> All right, let's head inside. I just wanted a quick snack. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I want to gather ingredients for our daily specials first. Would that be all right? Yeah, on the hunt for pizza ingredients. Sounds exciting. Our pizza is made from ingredients found in the bamboo forest. My manager takes the freshness of our product very seriously. Bamboo Burrows is full of folks who are dedicated to their craft. So Tim and Pikachu, could you two find me an herb and an egg? Sure thing. Rachel and I will look for mushrooms and, huh? What's wrong? Look, Rachel, an energy root and it's big. Oh, why, is, why do you sound so excited? Because they're really hard to find. I usually have to ask the herbal remedy shop for them. But I guess this one got pushed by this boulder and popped out. Did you give me a hand? It must be a pretty rare find if Jessica's this fired up about it. In that case, can we go look? We can go look for mushrooms too. Thank you, Tim. Though you might not might not find any. Not only are they out of the season, but mushroom picking is a very popular right now. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, Pikachu, let's go. 
So we just gotta find an herb, an egg, and some mushrooms. Right, a perfect chance for this great detective to flex his searching muscles. Tim, over here! Hey, Tim, I don't know if it's the ambiance or the smell of bamboo, but just being here is making me feel really calm and relaxed. I wonder why. I don't know. Yes. Uh, so they're looking for pizza ingredients. Looking yes. for swaying bushes. This looks pretty hard to uproot. Sure you don't need a third set of hands? No thanks, we're good. We've almost got it. Those two look like they're having fun. Let's go search for our own ingredients. I want to help them. They need, a, they need a third person in their little group. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> let's go. Mm -hmm. hmm, something about this place feels familiar. Did you find something, Pikachu? Eh, it's probably nothing. You sure you're okay, Pikachu? Do you want to rest? Nah, don't worry about me. It looks like there isn't anything for us to find here. All right. A Dracloak. Is this Pokemon okay? It looks so sad. It's a Dracloak. Something must be bothering it. What's wrong, Dracloak? What? The Dreepy you keep in your head, on your head and care for went missing? Did you say on its head? Yeah, Dracloak carry Pokemon called Dreepy around on their heads. Where did Dreepy go missing? Inside the bamboo forest, huh? Of course, we'll let you know if we find Dreepy. Yeah, we will. All right. There's only room for like one more. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Sorry, I'm trying to move my chair without hitting my ankle again. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pikachu, this thing looks awfully familiar. What is it? Fungus. It's a fungus. Watch out for its spores. Whoa, oh, it's a fungus. <laughs> I think we got a fungus among us, get it? <laughs> What's with that look, Tim? Blurting out whatever pops into my head is how I keep my mind sharp as a tack. <laughs> That's what I do. Really, you think having no filter keeps your mind sharp? You know, if you just loosened up a bit, you'd be that much closer to being a great detective like me. Look, now you've gone and confused it. Sorry, sorry, okay, fungus, let's chat. Hey. We're looking for mushrooms. Any idea where they we can find some? Oh, mushrooms are in short supply this time of year. But its friend Paris might know where to get some. Paris, okay, thanks. We'll go ask it. It says it sees Jessica all the time, and she's always been kind to the Pokemon around here. Sounds like Fungus thinks very highly of her. Hmm. Who's this guy? <laughs> Let's look over here. Mm -hmm. This bush looks like it's swaying, which means there must be a Pokemon inside. It's a Shiftry. I knew they live in wooded areas, but I didn't know that included bamboo forest. It looks like this Shiftry is holding something. Let's see what it has to say. Hey Shiftry, we're looking for some pizza ingredients. We're not the human who normally comes to see you, but you'll give it to us anyway? I wonder if that human is Jessica. It gave me an herb. Mm, smells so good. Thanks Shiftry. <laughs> it's asking how the human who normally comes to visit is doing. Just as I thought, it must know Jessica. She comes here a lot to collect herbs, so I'd always, so it always shares some with her. How about we ask it some questions? <laughs> it says the bamboo forest felt empty and lonely back when the berserk Pokemon appeared. It must be referring to an incident two years back. Seeing the bamboo forest now, it's hard to imagine it's such a bleak place. Yeah, the people in Pokemon seem plenty happy to be here now. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Uh, I'm thinking that sounds pretty... Wait, what? Shiftry, did you just use your special powers to read my mind? What's wrong, Pikachu? Did Shiftry say? It asked if I was going to lie down and take a nap here. Shiftry must be reading my mind. It doesn't take a mind reader to guess that's what you were thinking. Doesn't this peaceful setting make you want to doze off too? Let's both take a nap after we wrap up here. Hey, we didn't come here to relax. <laughs> Apparently, Jessica collects pizza ingredients whenever she comes to the bamboo forest. I guess she really is a hard worker. Jessica treats the Pokemon of the bamboo forest with respect because she believes everyone here, humans and Pokemon, should live in harmony. So Shifri shows its appreciation by giving her herbs. Living in harmony, huh? Hey, you two, got a minute? Huh? 
Mm, can I help you? Oh, sorry if I startled you. I'm a Pokemon researcher. There's supposedly a very rare Pokemon that lives in this bamboo forest. I've been walking around searching for it for so long that my legs are starting to go numb and I can't seem to find it. What sort of rare Pokemon? A Dunsparce. At the mere sight of a human, it digs a hole as quickly as it can and burrows itself away. Doesn't sound too fond of humans. Maybe it's shy? If you ever come across a Dunsparce, please let me know. I'd give anything to see it for myself. Sure, we'll just let you know if we spot one. Thanks, I hope you'll be back with some good news. All right, there can't be any more side quests. I mean, this thing's full. All right, and who's this? Knock towel. Unsleeping forest sentry. This Pokemon is perched up there watching over the bamboo forest as if it's keeping an eye out for anything dangerous. We both clearly look suspicious, or so it says. Well, we're just trying to conduct an investigation. And that explains it. A while back, an unfamiliar Pokemon went berserk around here. Since then, it's been trying to alert everyone to any potential danger it sees. A dangerous Pokemon, huh? We should be careful then ourselves. Oh yeah, Tim, this is the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about. Yeah, it's a perfect match. Okay, let's give our answer next time we see her. All right, let's go give our answer now. Just so that in case, you know, we stumble upon anything else, then, you know. There's a, a few things here, basically, is what we're saying. What I'm saying, what you're saying, what everyone's saying. We'll find the quiz master. Have a little chit chat with her. So, detective, have you figured out the answer? <laughs> yes, it's a knockdown, isn't it? Correct, with your sharp eye for detail, it's no surprise you got that right. Noctowl can see in the dark as long as there's the tiniest amount of light. It uses that keen eyesight to sneak up on its prey from above. Once Noctowl's got a target, there's no escape. Take care not to do anything suspicious or else it might peck at you. Okay, we'll be careful. Getting pecked by that sharp beak is definitely at the bottom of my to-do list. Now that it's the final stretch, here's your last question. What agile Pokemon has leaves growing on its arms and head? Based on that description, I bet it's a Pokemon living in the bamboo forest. Yeah, maybe its body is green too. Better keep your eyes peeled, Tim. Let me know when you find it. So who was it? Was it the thing that jumped out? Did it have leaves? I don't really remember. Let's see. Let's see. Was it this thing? Eh, maybe. Hey. Not head though. It must know Jessica. She comes here a lot. Okay, so yeah. Okay. How about no? We don't need to ask questions. I thought for some reason that might be it, but it's not it. Are there any bushes to investigate over here? Here's one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that guy. Something's moving. Let's take a look. It's a chancy. A chance encounter brings happiness. Hey, it's a chancy. Don't you think that egg it's holding would make a perfect pizza ingredient? Yeah, I'm sure Jessica would be thrilled if we brought her one of Chansey's eggs. It says it'll give us one. Aren't you glad we chanced upon a Chansey? Chance upon a Chansey. Pikachu, that's one of the worst dad jokes I've ever heard. Hey, for once, the pun was not intended. And see it? It says that egg should be just what Jessica's looking for. All right, they see each other in the forest all the time. Uh, it says the Pokemon that like to come to the bamboo forest because of, the, of its abundant nature. The water and air here are so fresh and clean, it never wants to leave this place. Sounds like a comfortable home for these Pokemon. Yeah, it must be the same for Jessica, too. Jessica's a hard worker who likes to put others first. Yeah, that tracks. Couldn't agree more, Chansey. Someone like Jessica does deserve to be happy. I think I understand that feeling. Me, too. If you work hard, you deserve all the great things that come with it. And what is this guy doing? Oh no, another side quest? <laughs> Yearns to be popular someday. What's got you looking so down in the dumps? Did you take a toxic to the face or something? Is something wrong with it? It was taking a walk around the storage area at the far end of the bamboo forest and suddenly an unfamiliar Pokemon rushed out and tried to attack it. Oh man, is it okay? It escaped right away so it wasn't hurt but its disguise got busted. Unfortunately, this disguise is super difficult to fix, and that's why it's feeling so crestfallen. That's so sad. Is there anything we can do to help? It says a mirror would help. Okay, we'll look for a mirror. Just wait right here. 
Wow, where's this fit? Oh, okay, they made room. We have so many quests to do. This is a ridiculous episode. Oh, there are some berries growing on the tree. These are Nanab berries. We saw these at the ruins too. How do they taste again? I already know. Why don't you try one, Tim? Uh, okay, wow, it's really sweet. Right, let's bring one to Skovet. Skovet likes it, great. There's oh. something shiny. I think I just saw something sparkle. Oh yeah, let me see. Oh wow, what a pretty brooch. Maybe it's the one Meowth was looking for. It has to be, let's bring it over when we get a chance. All right, so we got something for them, something for them. Anything else over here we gathered? What the heck, another mission? <laughs> pawn yard. Hey, don't we know this pawn yard? It's the pawn yard we met while we were working with the stolen jewel case. What are you doing here out of all places? Your journey to warriorhood led you all the way here? And more importantly, you want us to look at this? It just looks like a cut up stalk of bamboo to me. Whoa, it suddenly got really angry. Fool, the sharpness of the cross section, the beauty of the cut, none but a master of the blade could have accomplished such a feat, and only a warrior would be able to appreciate it, Ponyard says. I guess it takes a real connoisseur to recognize when something's done masterfully. It thinks a Pokemon must have cut it with a move. Bring it to me, the slicer of this bamboo, it says. And it's it's serious about this request, deadly serious. If it's that important to Ponyard, let's help it out. Yeah, af after all, our meeting here again must mean something, right? Hang tight, Ponyard, we'll find that Pokemon for you. I'm having too many quests. They keep, I guess they keep just shrinking them so they can pick, they, they keep putting them in. Good Lord, um, all right. Wow. Let's go this way then. Oh no, another quest? Oh my goodness, so many requests. How are we gonna manage this all? This Yamper sounds like a, sounds a little low energy. Maybe it's upset about something. Let's ask. Hey Yamper, something wrong? Yamp Yamp. What, you're so hungry you can't move? Then why not rustle up something to eat in the bamboo forest? Yeah, there's plenty of food here. Yamp? Oh, you're from the city, so the food here isn't suited to your taste. Kinda spoiled, huh? You're probably living a sheltered life in the city. What should we do? I guess we could go back to town and find something you'd like. Like a pizza, maybe. You want something soft, melted cheese? You're awful picky. Yeah, okay. It's, we've gotta be done with side quests. Please tell me we're done with side quests. Anything up here that we could be doing? This rock stuff has fallen again. Are those mushrooms? Oh, never mind. It's a Paris. Oh, what about my dear Paris? Well, we're helping the pizza manager look for mushrooms. Indeed, you must be looking for ingredients for their daily specials. She's oddly perceptive. Good luck finding them, hee hee hee. What about from Paris? Oh. Para para. Come to think of it, Paris has mushrooms growing on its back. Are those things edible? Maybe. If we're looking for mushrooms, Paris says we're welcome to take some. Is that even safe? Probably. Got some jumbo sized mushrooms because he had them tucked away for a rainy day. For a moment, I was worried it was gonna give us the mushrooms off its back. Thanks, Paris, the pizza manager can't make his pizza without these mushrooms. Looks like my dear Paris gave you some mushrooms. They go quite nicely on a pizza, you should try it. Thanks for the tip. Now I want some too. Let's go get a slice, Paris. Great. Must be one heck of a pie. Glad we could find the mushrooms for Perfect. it. Okay, we've gathered our ingredients. Let's bring them to Jessica. Let's keep looking while we're here. There's so much to do. Oh wow, this guy. He must have done the cutting. Sir Fetched! Follows the way of the leak. Fetched! That leak is so long it almost looks like a sword. That's right, Sir Fetched used them in battle as weapons, which can only mean one thing. Hey Sir Fetched, you've been cutting up any bamboo around here recently? You sliced a few stalks as part of your training? I knew it! So Sir Fetched is the Pokemon that Ponyard's been looking for. Now that we know, we better tell Ponyard pronto. Ponyard says, this one's aura has a warrior's edge. At last, I found the slicer of bamboo. I'm glad we were able to find it. Pawn, what are they talking about? Ponyard wants to further hone his skills by becoming Sir Fetch's apprentice. Sir Fetch says, alas, I cannot take you under my wing for I am not yet a fully fledged knight myself. Nevertheless, it would be an honor to hone our skills together as fellow warriors in training. Sounds like they were able to come together, come to an agreement. 
Apparently, Ponyard and Sir Fetched are gone head on, are gonna head out on the path of the warrior together. I'm think it's thanking us for introducing them to each other. No trouble at all. Good luck to you both. All right, great. Glad we got that done. So who's up here, though? Off they go. I hope they can become the skilled Pokemon they've always wanted to be. Yeah, the so one done. We almost had it all wrapped up, and then they just gave us so many more. Where are you? Oh. Tim, did you hear that? I, I didn't hear anything. Must have been my imagination. Oh. Oh. Are those leaves? I think this is the one. Groival. Hmm, what's that? You came out on this path because you heard some noise? What are you doing here? Apparently it's patrolling the bamboo forest to protect the weaker Pokemon. Sounds like it has a strong sense of responsibility. It's got a feeling something bad is gonna happen today. What? You don't really think. Maybe it's just the kind of instinct only wild Pokemon have. If something does happen, I'm glad you're here to take care of the Pokemon. Say, remember the Pokemon from the quiz professor's question? The agile one that has leaves growing on its arms and head? Do you think she might be talking about Groival? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go tell her. All right, great. Let's go up here, though. I hear something. Oh. I just heard a strange noise. You heard it too? I think the sound came from the cliff over there. Let's go. All right, but we got to give ingredients. Mm -hmm. Hey there, do you need help finding something? I'm okay. It takes a special technique to get the stuff I'm looking for anyway. Oh, really? What are you trying to find? Oval stones, energy roots, bug Pokemon husks, stuff like that. What a strange list of things for a kid. Hmm. A dead end. I'm hearing something. Pikachu, something's coming out of the ground. Spar, spar. It's a Dunspars. All oh, right. Now, here's a Pokemon I've never met. Who are you? Aha, uh -huh, I'm glad I decided to follow you two. So the rumors were true. There really is a Dunsparce living here. So you're Dunsparce. You look pretty shaken up. Uh, what are you planning on doing now? I'm going to present my findings and tell the whole world that Dunsparce lives here. My once-in-a-lifetime discovery is going to make me famous and put this little neighborhood on the map. I can see it now. Bamboo Borough, global tourist destination, and home of the elusive Dunsparce. Whoa there, if you go broadcasting Dunsparce's whereabouts like that, it's not going to want to live here anymore. Seems to me like Dunsparce wants to live a quiet life. I know you're excited to share this with everyone, but have you considered not doing that? Huh. A discovery like this only comes once in a lifetime. There's no way I'm letting it slip through my fingers. And once I present my findings, researchers the world over will know my name. I'll become an overnight celebrity. Have you ever considered how Dunsparce might feel? Just look at that face. Well, oh, Dunsparce, I can see the sadness in your eyes. All right, I'm sorry for frightening you. I'll keep this discovery to myself. I'm a researcher after all. My duty is to preserve your quiet lifestyle, not turn it upside down. Don't worry, Dunsparce, you're safe now. Look, I was gonna wreck his life. Dad, all right. Over here. What's up? So this is a Dunsparce. I hear it's a pretty rare Pokemon. Well, I found one. Splah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fast one. <laughs> yeah, so fast. Done. Sorry for all, all that commotion earlier. We didn't mean to startle you. All right. Uh, so, do we need to go in here or no? Whoa. Yeah, let's go back to Jessica with the ingredients. I'm still maybe looking for a little something though. Uh, hold on. Was there something here? Uh, we got all the ingredients. Is there anything over here worth checking out? Oh, wow, look at this guy. Dreepy. Play Dreepy. The Dreepy for Dreepy. the other guy's head. Look, it's the missing Dreepy. You're exploring the bamboo forest? Exploration is fun and all, but Dracloak's been worried sick about you. Why don't you take a break and check back with Dracloak? You want to go back, but you don't know where the Dracloak is? Oh, I guess it's lost after all. Dracloak is waiting for you back by the clearing near the entrance to the forest. Hmm. Will it find its way home okay? I'm worried about... I'm worried too. Let's follow it back. You must be relieved to have Dreepy back. Looks like everything's back to normal now. 
Hmm, don't you ever worry Drac look like that again. <laughs> huh, you want to thank me by giving me a ride? Thanks, but I'll pass. I'm a little old for a Drac look ride. All right, got that one done. So wait, we went all the way back here? Okay, so let me go. I mean, that was kind of at, at a, I mean, it might be a dead end. I don't know, we'll see. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. We'll give Jessica the ingredients too very soon. But there was just some unknowns over here that I, you know, I didn't know about. Whoa! All right, let's go back to, okay, so we did what we could. We went as far as it would let us for now. But now we've got the ingredients. So let's see. They are very far away. Holy moly. Uh, let's see. There they are. Sorry, let's look at my phone. Here we yes. go. <laughs> we found all the ingredients, Jessica. Oh, we even found the mushrooms. Thanks, you two. Not bad, we got our energy root too. Wow, that's one big root. Thank you, everyone. Sorry for all the trouble. I'm sure you came here to have fun. It's not a problem, and we did have fun. The Pokemon here are interesting to talk to. They're different from the ones in other parts of Rhyme City. Glad to hear that. Why don't we rest a bit and then head to the charcoal kiln? Before we do that, Jessica, there's something I'd like to look you to look at. Oh, me? What do you want to show me? Jessica, do you remember when this photo was taken? Oh, yes, this brings back memories. We took that photo together to celebrate the beginning of our project. Excuse me. What project was that? That was about two years ago. Rhyme City had formed a partnership with the lab I was working at. Oh, by lab, I mean the Pokemon Unity Lab. Anyway, that's where we launched our project to create a better way for humans and Pokemon to coexist. The people in this photo were the project's key members at that time. You don't say. I remember now, Mama mentioned that when the three of us were having dinner as a family, she was so happy when she announced that she and the Papa were going to be working on a project together. I knew it was an exciting thing for them at the time, but I had no idea it was that big of a deal. Mama and I used to chat about Pokemon, but she never discussed the details of her job. I didn't know you were part of it too, Jessica, and as one of the main contributors. Tim, why do you have this photo? Better not tell her you found it at the police station. We don't want to make her worry. Um, well, it's part of an assignment for one of our college courses. We were asked to write a report about the mayor, and we found this photo while looking at Papa's desk. Right, Tim? Right. <laughs> Sounds like a challenging assignment. Phew, saved by Rachel's quick thinking. Can I ask you about the others in the photo? Sure, I don't mind. Sorry if these questions end up killing the peaceful vibe. So you were working at the Pokemon Unity Lab. Does that mean you were a researcher? Yes, I was researching Pokemon behavior. Did you meet Mama through the project? No, your mother and I were in different departments initially. I first learned who Emma was from a paper she published. So you were, you were introduced to Rachel's mom through her research. That's right, Emma envisioned a future where humans and Pokemon could communicate. Her paper really was revolutionary. Our colleagues had nothing but praise for it. I was awestruck by it all too, of course. I went straight to her after reading it. We talked about her paper, her research, all kinds of things. That's when I decided I'd do whatever I could to help Emma. I didn't know her work was what brought you together. Yes, the entire project's launch was based on her paper. Sounds like Emma's paper about building a new future for Rhyme City really changed your life. I don't even need to read Emma's paper to know that. Just look at how Jessica's beaming right now. All right, Mayor Myers. I assume Mayor Myers is in this photo because of the lab's partnership with Rhyme City. Yes, that's right. We were able to focus on our research thanks to his support. He and Emma never let their outside relationship affect their work. But I remember they'd talk about Pokemon for hours. They always supported and understood each other. It sounds like Mayor Myers has been thinking about human Pokemon Co.'s existence for a long time. Absolutely, the project never could have launched without his contributions. What about Murloc? I see. And Mr. Murloc was part of this project too? You know him? We ran into him in the city yesterday. He gave me the creeps. Even Tim was surprised by how overbearing he was. He plucked some Pikachu's fur and ran some tests on it. That sounds like something he'd do. He's a brilliant scientist, sure. But he also thinks he's the smartest person in any room he's in, and the only thing he values is his research. I didn't really like him, to be honest. Wow, Jessica, I've never heard you say that about anyone. The way he talked about Pokemon, he had such ob obvious contempt for them. He didn't even try to hide it. He also used the lab for his pet projects, even though it was a public research facility. No one knew exactly what he was researching, but the quality of his work was always so impeccable that the people looked the other way. What about Emma? I assume the woman next to you in this photo is Rachel's mother, Emma. Jessica, what was Mama like at the lab? I'd love to know. 
Emma had two great loves, her family and Pokemon. Everyone liked and admired her, and a lot of us worked extra hard just because we wanted to impress her. I really looked up to her myself, and then... You don't have to talk about anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Uh, don't worry about me, either. Okay. The project was going well, and morale was high overall, but then the R incident happened, and Emma, she was one of the casualties. Rachel? So that's what happened. I should have known. I guess Tim already knew. After the accident, the project was canceled. I heard the lab's been shut down, too. And that's why you're in Bam Bamboo Burrow now. That's right. I was nervous when I first came here, but everyone has been very kind to me. I'm enjoying myself here now. Hey. Thanks to Jessica, we were able to gather information about everyone in the photo. We even learned about the lab and the research they were doing. We still don't know why Unitas was targeting Jessica. But we haven't seen anyone suspicious so far. Now that Butler's behind bars, I think it's safe to say that Jessica's no longer a target. Thank you, Jessica. We've learned a lot today. So I'm glad I got to hear about everything, too. I'm not sure if ever, anything I said was helpful. Trust me, it's a huge help. I'm sure our report will turn out great thanks to you. And by report, you mean detective work, right, Tim? What? Oh, uh... Couldn't quite stick the landing, huh? You'll get the hang of that eventually, Tim. You're good at telling... You're good at telling when people are lying, but not so much at telling lies yourself. Am I, am I right? I'm sorry, Jessica. Yeah, me too. It's alright. I could tell something was off from the questions you were asking, but the weirdness of this photo confirmed it. Huh? Do you think I wouldn't notice the red circle drawn around my face? <laughs> Yikes, you forgot about that. <laughs> I don't get why, but it seems like you're worried about me. I'm doing okay. Nothing unusual has been going on either. Making Jessica worry is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Guess I shouldn't rest my laurels either. So, uh, Jessica, should we head over to the charcoal kiln soon? Yes, we should. Is there anything else you need to do? If so, we can wait until you finished up. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. So there is stuff I need to do. Uh, actually, I need to go back. I mean, I don't know how many side quests I can do and finish up. I mean, I can talk to the quiz master. That's one thing. Are you ready to give me an answer? <laughs> yeah, the answer is Gro Groival. Typical detective. That's correct. Groival can leap into motion instantaneously. It leaps from stalk to stalk in the bamboo forest until it spots prey. Then Groival leaps right at it. That's how Groival battles by using its environment to its advantage. Sounds like the last Pokemon you want for an enemy in a place like the Bamboo Forest. The Groival we saw here seemed kind, though. Very kind, though. Well, that's the end of our fun quiz sessions, but it would be a shame if you didn't continue putting your sharp eye to detail to good use. Do you want to research Pokemon with me full-time? What do you say? I'm flattered, but I've already got my hands full with my detective work, and I don't know how I feel about quizzing strangers on the street. That's a shame. Well, I hope to see you around anyway. All right, got her done. Get her done. Now we got a couple of other things to do. Uh, we got uh, this. What's he want? <clears throat> you remind me of someone I met once. Really? Who? This electrician detective fellow who moseyed on to our neighborhood a few years back. Real skilled sort. An electrician detective? What in the world is that? He was a brilliant detective. Solved the berserk Pokemon problem going on back then. Excellent electrician, too. Our elevator used to break down all the time before he fixed it up. Elevator's been running without any hiccups ever since, all thanks to the electrician detective. Whoever he was, he sounds like he really knew his stuff. I can't even begin to imagine this guy must have looked like. You're an electrician detective, too. Yeah, I can tell by the Pikachu you got by your side. I'm a detective, so you're half right. Well, if you ever meet the fellow, please let him know. Bamboo Burrow and all of its residents are grateful for everything he did. So, I don't know he's talking about my dad, apparently. Which is weird. Uh, you. We got you some something sweet. A sweet berry. It's a Nanab berry found it by the pond in the bamboo forest. Try it. It's really sweet. See? Nice and sweet, right? It seems to like the berry. Good. That means uh, it's, it's done eating. Just don't go overboard. And then, uh, what else are we looking for here? Yes. Hey there, welcome to the Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Uh, I'm not actually here for pizza, but is there any chance I could buy some cheese? What an interesting request. Mind if I ask why? There's a hungry yamper in the Bamboo Forest. I thought I might like some cheese from your pizzeria. Say no more, I'd love to help you out. Here you go. Whoa, thanks, that's a whole lot of cheese, thank you. Personally, I'm, I'd rather be serving its piping hot pizza fresh out of the oven, but if, it, if cheese is what it craves, I'm happy to oblige. All right, we'll take that to Yamper. You guys again. Thanks, Paris. The pizzeria manager can't make his pizza without those mushrooms. Isn't my dearest Paris ever so nice? Great. It sure is. It even shared some mushrooms with us. 
Yeah, I'm so excited to try try the daily special. Oh, this guy. Here you go. This is the brute you were looking for, isn't it? Careful not to lose it again. That will be all. That's it. Not even a thank you. It really is prideful. Come to think of it, why did Meowth even have a brooch to begin with? Don't tell me it was stolen from the ceramics shop. None of our business, it says. I don't think we'll get a straight answer from it. Let's try asking someone who works there. Yeah. Could you be even more entitled? There, there. Let's head over to the ceramics shop and ask about the brooch. Uh, this is a souvenir shop. Excuse me. Actually, do you happen to have any mirrors? Probably a full length one if possible. We have some hand mirrors, but nothing full length. Oh, that thanks anyway. It's a real shame though. I was really hoping uh, to help uh, mimic you with his disguise. Mimic you, you say? If you don't mind, may I ask why you're looking for a mirror? Well, you see, so I explain. Ah, uh, now I understand the situation. Feel free to borrow the shop's display mirror. Are you sure that's all right? Certainly, I'll ask mimic you for it back later. Thank you. Let's take it to mimic you right away. And then, what else are we trying to do here? Uh, I got the cheese for the thing. Let's go, where's the ceramic shop owner? Is this it? Oh, that's the medicine. Who's the ceramic shop owner? Hi there, are you looking for anything in particular? Mm -hmm. Not really, actually I wanted to ask you about that Meowth over there. Do you know anything about the the pretty brooch it always has? Oh, that I gave it to him as a gift. A gift? Oh wait, your mouse partner? Yes, I am. I traveled all over the world buying pieces to sell in my shop. I met Meowth during my travels in the Alola region. He seemed quite enamored by the brooch I was wearing at the time. We ended up growing thick as thieves and decided to live together. That explains what an Alolan Pokemon is doing here. You don't see much of him in this neck of the woods. He may seem a little standoffish, but he's actually quite kind. He even helps out around the shop. Really, how nice of him. I can't imagine that Meowth lifting a paw to help anyone. That just goes to show how special the bond between Pokemon and their partners is. He's treasured that brooch since the day we met. Ah, that reminds me, I haven't seen him with it in quite a while. Oh dear, I hope he hasn't lost it. We actually found his brooch in the bamboo forest and gave it back to him. Is that so? He must be thrilled that you found it. He's shy and has trouble showing his appreciation, so allow me to express my gratitude on his behalf. Thank you for your help. Who would have guessed that Meowth had such a kind partner? He's lucky to have her. All right, got that done, and then we got to go back into the forest and finish those two other things, and then we'll be ready to talk to Jessica again about moving onwards. So let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. Up over here is the... The dog is on the way. I think the, well, is the mimic you over here? There we go. Mm -hmm. Thanks for waiting, mimic you. Would this mirror work for you? Like a charm, it says. But it's too embarrassed to fix its disguise in front of us. Then we'll turn around and keep our backs to you. Just let us know when you're done. All right. There it is. Hey, it looks all fixed up. I'm glad you're okay now. Great. Another local concern. One more local concern and just giving this dog a cheese treat. Dogs do like cheese, apparently. Yamper. There you go, Yamper. Thanks for waiting, Yamper. Here's the cheese that you wanted so bad. Easy there, there's plenty of cheese. No need to gobble it up so fast. Whoa. Yamper scarfed it all down in one go. You've never tasted cheese this delicious? Glad to hear it. I'm sure this pizzeria's manager will be thankful for the positive review. You want more? Don't be so gluttonous. Yeah, don't be so gluttonous. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I ran full sprint back to town. I guess we're done here then. We are done with these side quests, so that's good news for us. And then now uh, it's time to talk to Jessica over here. And um, let's see. All right, well, there she is. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break and I will BRB. All right, so let's chat about yes. it. Let's go. Were you able to finish everything up, Tim? Yes. Yes. 
Well then, let's head over to the charcoal kiln. You'll see it right after crossing the bridge up ahead. All right, here we go. This place, I'm sure of it. Hey, where are you going? Is everything all right, Tim? You two go on ahead. We'll catch up with you. Yeah, where is he going? <sighs> yep, no mistake in it. What's going on, Pikachu? Yeah, I knew this was the place. I see. How did it take me so long to realize? This place hasn't changed one bit since then. Did you remember something again? This is where I was protecting the injured Pancham. When I tried to get a closer look at Pancham, I met Pikachu. I mean, I met Harry. What? So this is where you and Dad met? Uh, let's see. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, but tell me about when you met Dad. You mentioned before that you met Dad in the bamboo forest. Is this exactly where it happened? Yep, this is where I was protecting Pancham while he was injured. Didn't leave his side once till he was all better. When I saw Harry come closer, I jumped out because he looked suspicious. Pikachu jumping out like that really startled me. I was just trying to get a closer look at Pancham's injury. I guess I must have looked suspicious because the moment Pikachu saw me, he tried to scare me off. Wait, hold on. Your story doesn't make sense. Huh, what part don't you get? You were protecting Pancham and then you startled yourself when you jumped out? What in the world? Mm -hmm. So you were protecting the injured Pancham. Yeah, Pancham got hurt by a Berserk Pokemon. I tried to help by battling the Berserk Pokemon, but it was too big. Took a lot of effort just to make it go away. It sounds like you helped out plenty. Anyway, I checked on Pancham's in injury while Pikachu was trying to scare me off. <laughs> so yeah, he something happened with his brain. With I don't know what in the world happened. I left Pikachu to watch over Pancham, then I ran all over the neighborhood in the bamboo forest to collect some medicine. And then I managed to heal Pancham. Who knows what would would have happened if I'd taken any longer. Yeah, he thinks he's Harry or something happened with Harry's brain. I don't even know. So you, you were protecting Pancham, then you got some medicine for Pancham. Was it you or Dad who got the medicine? It was me, of course. Hmm. Another story from Pikachu that doesn't make sense. He didn't even notice that some of the things he said didn't add up. That's not like him. I'm kind of worried. Hmm. All right, so we, we know what doesn't add up. We know that it, the, the, you can't do both at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right, so Pikachu. What? Uh, wow, yeah, that one is weird. That one's normal. That one's normal. Yeah, the, this one is the weird one. Oh. Uh. Pikachu said he stayed by Pancham's side the whole time and protected him. If that were the case, he wouldn't have been able to look for medicine at the same time. These two parts of Pikachu's story clearly contradict each other. I had a feeling something was off about his memory. I should have, have I should have him rest back in town. All right, yeah, we should have had him rest. Instead, we're just walking around with a severe brain injury. And we <laughs> all right, say, do you feel the ground shaking? Yeah, I do. Wait, huh? It feels like it's getting stronger. Something's coming. This is bad. There's Pancham. That's that's his friend. But it's not called Pancham at the moment. It's because something Pikachu. Evolved, evolved into something else. Say, aren't you? I knew I recognized you. Hey. Who would have thought we'd run into each other like this? It's Pangoro now. Do you two know each other? Yeah, he helped me out back at the police station. We escaped the, the tainment room together too. Oh, I forgot all about him there. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. In a way, that means you helped me out too. Thanks for all you did yesterday, Pangoro. So what brings you all the way out here? Oh, right. This is where you're from. Well, I hope uh, you've been able to rest up, Pangoro. But don't you know it's Pancham? It's the same one? That was... Rachel! It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go! Yeah! Alright, go deeper into the bamboo forest. Yeah, that scream came from one of our friends. Sorry, we'll have to catch up later. 
Sorry, I didn't know which, which way to go here. Deeper into the forest. I think this is where we're supposed to go, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm... Is this... What's with all these rocks? They weren't here earlier. They have to be connected to whatever happened to Rachel and Jessica. Let's check them out, Tim. Oh, they're crushed under these rocks. <laughs> I'm trying to investigate. Yeah, we got footprints. Mm -hmm. These footprints are larger than Rachel's and Jessica's. They might belong to a man. They're mixed in with Rachel's and Jessica's footprints, and I doubt they were made by a tourist. Do you think someone was going after Jessica? We can't rule it out. And then don't forget these little, these bigger footprints here. That's a big Pokemon footprint, judging by the depth. The Pokemon was pretty heavy, too. It's not Pangoro's footprint, and I don't think it was made by any of the other Pokemon living in the bamboo forest, either. If it was left by a Pokemon that came from elsewhere, that might be somehow related to these rocks. I think that's safe to assume. And then we got the rocks. The rocks themselves. Don't you want to know about those? The rocks themselves? Hello? Yeah, okay, examine. Yeah, big rock. If these rocks weren't in our way, our job here would be so much easier. If only there was some way to move them. Angoro, maybe. I don't know. Just an idea. Hmm. All right, the rocks weren't here earlier. These other footprints. Perfect. That's all there is to see here. Good. Let's get out of here then. We need to do something about these rocks so we can find Rachel and Jessica. Hmm, we can either ask the people in town for help or find a Pokemon that can deal with them. A Pokemon, I wonder if we could ask. Pangoro, yes! Should we go see him right now? Yeah, what else are we doing? And this is the pantry we helped, or you helped. See, I'm, I'm getting the brain fog too. There you are, hey Pangoro. Hey Pangoro! Do you mind if I ask you for a lift? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah! High now five. we're unstoppable! Pangaro, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the view up here is amazing. There's a bunch of rocks blocking the path up ahead. Can you flex those muzzles and clear the way for us, Pangoro? All right, here we go. You want me to move one of these rocks, right? Can I go ahead and get started? Yes. What is hey. wrong? Yes, do it. Uh, are we just pushing them? Okay, I get it. R button, push. Nailed it. Thanks. All right, the path's been clear. You've been a huge help. Thank you. I'm gonna head over to the bridge now. There's no time to lose. Rachel, Jessica, I'm on my way. We should head that way too. Any more rocks in the way that I need to push out of the way? Pikachu, look, what do we do? Yeah, I see it, just give me a sec. Thanks, Goro. you can put me down now. Hmm. The bridge is broken. Those rocks must have smashed it. Hey, Tim, look, footprints. More footprints. Rachel and Jessica's. They went across this bridge. Hmm. Jessica said the charcoal kiln is across the bridge, right? If we can just get there somehow, we might be able to find Rachel and Jessica. Hold on. Tim, there's another way to get to the other side of the bridge. It's through the storage area. Where's that? It's over that way up the hill. All right, let's go. Hey, it's up this hill. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've gone this way before. Hey. We can get to the other side of the bridge from here, no doubt about it, should we go in now? Yes, what, are, mm -hmm. what in the world? Okay, let's go. So many questions are like, should we keep playing the game? Yes. <laughs> oh wow, well this, this sure is a storage area, nice that there are lights at least. Let's see if we can find anything useful. This guy looks useful. I don't know. What's up? Yeah, we'll ask for your help if we need it. Break this open. 
That's one heavy looking gate. Yeah, do you think it's locked? There's one way to find out. Just squeeze through. Oh, darn it. The gate won't even budge. He's going to pass out again. I knew it. I freaking knew it. He's going to have a flashback to Harry. Pikachu! Well, great. That is just great. Into the void again. Are they going to make a sequel to the movie that mirrors this game or something? I don't know how, how closely the movie mirrored the other game. Harry and Pikachu. Pika. All right. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're okay. Pika! Pika! Ah! Uh. Guess Laron's still looking for us. Hmm. Right after I tried talking to those two suspicious guys, the Laron next to them started going berserk. There's no way those two weren't responsible for its sudden change in behavior. You think so too, right, Pikachu? Yeah, you have every right to be angry. Those guys better watch out. Once I find them, I'm taking them straight to the police. That said, they probably got away already. I'd go chase them down, but Laron's outside. And don't worry, it's I'm not out of ideas just yet. For now, let's find ourselves a safe way out of here. I'll set my sights on those two guys after that. Come on, Pikachu, let's see if there's another door that'll get us out of here. What about this? It's an iron gate. Surely, nope. What's with everyone locking their gates today? There's got to be something we can do. Let's hmm. see. What can we find here? There's the keyhole. There's the key. Uh, I should have asked the boss for the key to open this gate too, but you didn't know this gate was here, but there's the key. So you wouldn't have even been able to give it to you, really. Hmm. Is that a key? Maybe it's a spare. Pretty careless of them to just leave it here, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I just had to reach my hand out, and uh, I can't reach it. If only there was a stick or something I could use. What should I do? Send Pikachu in. Pikachu can squeeze through those gates, dude. I swear. Those bars are not spaced, you know? Okay, anyway. Pikachu can go through here. There's a pretty big gap at the bottom. I wonder if I... Nope, too tight. Pikachu can go. Don't worry, I'll figure this thing out. You go! I think I'm done checking out this area. Dude, we know what to do. Hmm. All right, now, how do I get the key? You're down to give me a hand, huh? Oh, that's right. You could probably fit through that gap and get to the other side. Okay, Pikachu, I want you to get that key. It's that little thing over there. See it? Once we get that, we can open this gate. I don't think I understood that. I better try explaining step by step. First, I need Pikachu to get to the other side of this gate. How should I communicate that? Point okay. to the gap in the gate. Pikachu, I want you to pop through that gap down there and get to the other side of the gate. Okay. All right, Pikachu's through the gap. Now, how should I explain the next step? Show it the bamboo forest gate key. Okay. Pikachu, see this? Look for the same thing and bring it over, will ya? He's so cute. I wonder how they came up with the idea for a detective Pikachu. Okay. Thanks, Pikachu. Now I can open this gate. You did it. All right, open the door. Hmm. And we should be in. Bingo, it opened. Now what do we do? What are we trying to do here? Yeah. Tret. <laughs> These guys are working hard. We're hardly working. <laughs> oh, there's another situation. Can we open the same? Hmm. Another gate. Well, lucky for me, I got the key from earlier. Graveler. A rolling stone. 
Hmm. Why well, decide to take a nap right here? Sorry, Graveler, but I'm gonna have to give this gate a pretty hearty shove. Here it goes. No dice. It won't budge. That Graveler is no featherweight. Hey, Graveler, wake up, will ya? It's sound asleep. How can I get it to move? I'll see if I can find anything that might help. Hmm. That gate's not locked. But what about just pushing, pushing through, like pushing mm. him? Like, I mean, uh, yeah, go in there, Pikachu, and then distract okay. him. All right, so are we gonna send him in, or what am I looking at over there? Oh, what are these? Hmm. Berries. Hmm. Berries with thorny skin. They're used to make pokey blocks. And these are hmm. small berries, chesto berries. They can wake up a sleeping okay. Pokemon. That's perfect. So then, and then what's going on over here with the electricity? I don't know, but Pikachu can grab those and wake up the sleeping Pokemon. Hmm. All right. All right, he's gonna get it. You'll do that thanks a million, Pikachu. How do I communicate which berries though? All right, the blue, the the, the one, the wake it. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I got the berry. Now I just need to give it to Graveler. A chesto berry should wake it right up. Excellent. Alright, hey, it woke up. Hey there, Graveler. Sorry for the rubble rousing, but would you mind moving over just a bit so I can get the gate open? Okay. Thanks for the help, Graveler. And thanks for the assist, Pikachu. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Pikachu! All right. Anything else? I mean, I guess I'll talk to Graveler. I don't know what he's gonna have to say, though. Sorry, I woke you up. I gotta say, you're in a much better mood than I expected. I was prepared for the worst. And then Pikachu's gonna operate this. Hmm. There's nowhere else to go, but he can... Don't tell me we've hit a dead end. Is that an elevator? Ah, oh, this must be the storage area I've heard about, which would make this elevator the one that old Charcoal Shop Master is always fixing. Heh, <laughs> how's that for luck? Save myself a trip. Okay. This is our ticket out, Pikachu. We can use this elevator to get back up to the ground level. Okay, let me check this thing out and get back up above ground. Investigate the elevator. Hmm. Is it the elevator buttons? There's one for going up and one for going down. The power's on the fritz, so nothing happens when I press one. If I want to get them working, I'm going to have to get the electricity flowing again. There's light coming in from above, so I'm pretty sure the elevator will take us back outside. Hmm. It's a power unit. There's a machine inside that sends electricity to the elevator. There doesn't seem to be any major damage, but the electricity isn't flowing properly. This is probably why the elevator keeps breaking down. Can't imagine the charcoal master helped much by whacking it either. Hmm. All right. Fix the flow of electricity. Hmm. Pikachu can do this, right? You can just do this. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Permanent solution. We need a permanent solution. That's right. I'm not in this alone. I got you to help me. You see this power unit? I want you to use an electric type move on it. The electricity might start flowing properly if you give it a good jolt. Think you can do that, Pikachu? Do Thunderbolt, please. Okay. Do your thing. Pikachu! Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! <laughs> Perfect. Did it. Easy. Pikachu! Great job, Pikachu. Pikachu! Pikachu! All right, now let's get out of here. And this should get us out of here. I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Pikachu. Pikachu! Pikachu! 
All right. <laughs> well, I've not seen the movie Detective P Pikachu. I wanted to kind of know what it's okay. about. Finally, fresh air. Awesome work, Pikachu. First, you help panch him, and then you can go and fix the elevators. Anything you can't do? Seriously, though, I couldn't have come this far without you. Thanks, Pikachu. All right, keep going. Which way are we going? This way? This must be the charcoal kiln hut. Wow. Okay. We did it, Pikachu. We made it to the charcoal kiln. I was told this is where the berserk Pokemon appeared. Investigating that incident is the whole reason I'm here. We ran into a berserk Pokemon on the way here, too. I learned something from that encounter, at least. Humans definitely have something to do with the berserk Pokemon. Let me think back on what I've seen so far. Two suspicious guys and a lair on that went berserk right in front of us. Hmm. Those, those guys seemed very flustered when they saw me. They didn't seem like locals to me. They probably came here from somewhere else. It's my own testimony. Judging by the way Pikachu reacted to him, I'm pretty sure they had something to do with Laron going berserk. Hmm. The Laron was calm when I first saw those two guys, but once they started running away, Laron went berserk. Did he go berserk because it was scared of us or for some other reason? Laron's eyes caught my attention too. Its eyes are usually light blue, but they went were red when it started going berserk. Something about that feels off to me. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's about all I've got to ponder. Time for some deduction. What's to deduce? Hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's, uh, there's okay. So we know why it went to Zerk. The suspicious guys did it. Now then. All right, it went to Zerk. It was forced to go berserk. This is it. Something definitely seemed off about Laron's red eyes, not to mention the way it went berserk. I feel like it wasn't even thinking straight, almost like it just lost its mind all of a sudden. Why did it react so violently? I need to get to the bottom of this. Let's assume for the sake of argument that Laron was forced to go berserk. Considering all the destruction in the bamboo forest and Laron's violent, out-of-control behavior, it all makes sense if those two guys forced Laron to go berserk. Though how they did it, I'm not sure. They might, there might be more evidence back there. Once I'm done investigating here, I'll go take another look around the bamboo forest. Oh my goodness. Hmm. If those two are really the ones making Pokemon go berserk, then... What's wrong? Seriously? So L Laroon's here, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Watch out! <laughs> There we go, out of the way. Is he okay? Pika. Pika. Unleash Thunderbolts! I guess I'm gonna push the button over and over. Here we go. There you go, I had to hit it really fast. There we go, we killed Laron. No, <laughs> just kidding. Fainted him. No, oh, hey, nice job. All right. Hey, are you okay? Looks like those jerks were using you. Huh? What's this? A vial? Yep. Of brilliance! <laughs> Big Pokemon have been going berserk, and this stuff is why. Big Big exactly. You think so too? If this gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. I will not let that happen. Pika, Pika. Thanks for all your help, buddy. Bye now. Pika. Pika. Where'd he go? 
He's like, oh, let me take me with you. Wanna come? Well then, you can have this. Looks there great on you. There we go. It's an origin story now. Right. Let's go. Now, does he wake up now, or do we continue on with this little adventure? Oh, he wakes up now, because it's more colorful. Pikachu! Wake up, Pikachu! Whoa. Huh? <sighs> Oof, I fell asleep again? Oh, hey, Tim, what's with that look? Come on, you worry too much. How are you not concerned about this, Pikachu? You keep collapsing out of nowhere. Aren't you at all anxious about what might be causing that? Do you have any idea how worried we've all been? You're right, Tim. I'm sorry. I was trying to downplay it to keep you all from worrying, but I guess that backfired. Sorry, Pikachu. I didn't mean to go off on you like that. No, I needed to hear it. I'll get myself checked out after we finish this investigation. But for now, we got to focus on finding Rachel and Jessica. Let's hurry up and go. Well, wait. We can't just go rushing in. We don't know what's in there. Don't worry. I've been here before with Harry. It's safe in here. There's an elevator in the back. We won't get lost. Your dream jogged more memories about, about this place, huh? Mind filling me in? Mm-hmm. You met Dad in the Bamboo Forest, right? Did you two come here next? Pretty much, things got pretty hairy after I gave Pancham its medicine. Harry and I encountered a berserk Pokemon and we ended up here after we ran away. You had to run what happened. I had Pikachu look after Pancham and I headed in the direction of the roaring. He what? Sounds like his memories are jumbled again. As I was heading towards where the loud roar came from, I saw Hoot Hoot flying away as fast as its wings could carry it. I knew right away that Hoot Hoot must have, been in, must have encountered a berserk Pokemon. I wanted to confirm it though, so I climbed up a huge boulder and headed towards where Hoot Hoot had come flying from. Which is what Harry did in his memory or whatever. When I saw Harry headed that way, I scrambled up the boulder to catch up with him and left Pancham behind. Yeah, okay. Noted testimony, got it. This isn't quite making sense. After Harry and I climbed the boulder, we ran into those two shady guys and a berserk Pokemon. The berserk Pokemon started attacking us, so we ran away and ended up stumbling into the storage area. I'm not sure how accurate his memory is for some parts of the story. I guess the one consistent thing is that they escaped the berserk Pokemon by running into the storage area. So what about the storage area? The people of the Bamboo Borough use the storage area. Some Pokemon live here, but it's generally a safe place. Huh, a storage area, huh? I guess that's why it's such a sturdy structure. Hmm. There's an elevator up ahead that we can use to get to ground level. It'll let us out of the other side of the bridge, which is perfect. The power doesn't always work, but I know how to fix that. Wow, really? I guess we're covered then. Uh, yeah, totally. Hey. Anyway, we can get out of here if we just follow the path beyond the gate. I know exactly what to do. It sounds straightforward, but we should still be careful. I'm worried about your condition. I appreciate it. Now let's go find Rachel and Jessica. Wait a second. I want to organize my thoughts first. Hmm. All right. So we know that things aren't making sense in his dream. And so we just have to kind of sort things out. Let's deduce it. Oh, I know there's something strange about what Pikachu said he did. Uh, Pikachu climbing the same boulder twice. No, that's normal. Mm -hmm. If what Pikachu said is true, it would mean he climbed that huge boulder twice. I doubt he climbed that, down that boulder just to climb it a second in time. He also said he followed my dad. Why does it, What does this all mean? All right. Next. Hey. Okay, let's head further into the storage area. Sounds good. Keep going. Is this unlocked now? Hey. This metal gate's locked, but we're not. We've got nothing to worry about. I can fit through the gaps at the bottom and search for the key on the other side. This gate doesn't seem to be locked, actually. See? Oh wow, my clever solution fizzled into nothing. Folks around here really ought to be more careful about leaving things unlocked. Oh, don't worry about it. The important thing is that we can get through without any trouble. All right, great. What's this guy doing? Is there anything here now? I guess we're just gonna move on. Oh, more of these. We're gonna need Pikachu. What's with up the, these huge rocks over the place? Those weren't around the last time I was here. Where the heck did they come from? Well, lucky for us, I know exactly who to ask for help with this kind of stuff. Pangoro! Come here, bud. Here we go. Yes, we should ask for his help. Let's do this. Huh? 
Go for it. Hey. All right. Here we go. Oh, we need one more. That's fine. There we go. All is Thanks. said and done. Thanks for the assist. What you doing here? Well, we got more to do. Keep going, yes. Yeah, get, get started, dude. Hey. We got this. All right, so, uh, to me, this is an obvious choice. Then we'll just push these away, too. All right. Hmm. I, mean, I think that's good. Thanks. All right. Don't mention it. And then we we got everything we need. Thank you. Thank you both. Looks like we can continue now. Let's mm. go. Let's get Tim over here before we press anything. All right, let's go, Tim. I'm ready to get off Pangoro. When is he gonna realize that's the guy he helped? Okay. I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> I guess none of the memories that came back to me will come in handy after all. That's not true, they helped us get all the way here and now we just gotta ride the elevator up and... Uh-oh, what's that sound? It came from above. This can't be good. Let's hurry up. Come on, come on. Stressing out won't make this go any faster, Tim. Alright. Right. Okay. That roar came from somewhere nearby. Keep your guard up, Tim. Right, let's go. I didn't look over this way when we were here. Do you think we'll need Pangoro? Wait, is that Rachel, Jessica, Tim, wait, that guy. Who is that guy? Looks like I got what I was after. <laughs> now I just need to capture that detective dude. I've already given you the research data. Just leave us alone. What did you say? You've got a lot of nerve making demands of Unitas. Unitas? Uh-oh. I said it right, Unitas. Unitas. Been waiting for you, great detective. Now you're dealing with an elite. <laughs> Go okay. attack! Goro! No, Goro! don't attack us. Oh, jeez. We're up, Pagoro! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I bet it's just pushing A a bunch of times. There we go, good. Just get that thing off. Pangoro, hold on a little longer. Oh, he's going to try to take that off. Timing it just right. <laughs> Did he get it? Good job. It's like, what happened? It's your fault. Oh, no. Great. Phew, that was pretty intense. I'm glad he took off. Pikachu, Pangoro, that looked like a tough opponent to handle. Are you two okay? That was nothing for us, right, Pangoro? <laughs> I get the feeling you two could handle just about anything. It seems like Rachel and Jessica are okay, too. That's great to hear. We should go check in with them. All right, who's this? Whoops. Check in with this guy. 
Thank you for getting that horrible man to leave. I honestly wanted to help, but that golem gave me such an awful look that I froze Great. up. I'm just glad it kept you safe. Yeah, getting involved could could have gotten you hurt, and I'm sure the master of the charcoal shop has enough to worry about already. He should have helped. Yes. Jessica, are you okay? I just... Why? She doesn't look hurt, but she's pretty shaken up. Let's wait until she's had some time to process. All right. Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, too. Good. But they stole something really important. What? <sighs> that man in black from earlier, it sounded like he was with some group called Unitas. Unitas, what's that? He knew I was carrying something important, too. What does this all mean? Breathe, Jessica. It's okay. You're safe now. I just can't believe this is happening. I understand it might be difficult to talk about, Jessica, but do you think you could answer some questions? Sure, I can do that. Excuse what do you know me? about Unitas? Yes, you remember that project I told you about from before? The one Emma launched with the lab in Rhyme City? It was called the Unitas Project. Huh, they have the same name? It surprised me as well. But why? Why would they use the same name as Mama's Project? Jessica told us before that that the project was canceled and the lab was shut down. Maybe that guy used to work with the lab back when it was still running. Do you remember ever seeing him, Jessica? No, I've never seen him before. He knew who I was, though. So that man in black just now was with that Unitas organization. There's no way this is all a coincidence. I agree, there's got to be something behind all this. What's the important thing Unitas stole from Excuse you? Excuse me. Research data. Emma collected it at the lab. What? You were just carrying that around? Yes, I kept it in a thumb drive. I thought of it like a good luck charm. But why? Were you planning to continue her research? No, quite the opposite, actually. That research data could spell danger for both humans and Pokemon. I figured I should hold on to it to keep that from happening. You could just destroy it. <laughs> don't you still hold on to it? I can't believe my mom would research something so dangerous. The research itself was about how people and Pokemon could live together in harmony. Emma was specifically focused on the possible interactions between Pokemon and human consciousness. In the middle of her research, she made an unexpected discovery. A way for humans to take full control of a Pokemon's consciousness or even fuse their own consciousness with it. That's what happened. That's what happened with Pikachu. That's horrifying. Emma thought so too. That's why she kept her data hidden from everyone at the lab. I was the only person she told where she kept it. She must have really trusted you, Jessica. Yes, but I couldn't fully understand all the data. It was a bit above my level of expertise. When the lab shut down after the R incident, I took the research data with me. And now that Unitas goon has it. I should have deleted it when I had the chance, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. It's okay, I understand. Dr. Myers meant a lot to you and you wanted to remember her. Yes, thank you, Rachel. Hmm, Unitas must have known what was in that research data. What do you think, Tim? Jessica sure gave us a lot to consider, huh? No kidding. So, she was attacked by people who were after Emma's research data. And they called themselves Unitas. The same name as Emma's project. Which means, if we head to the lab... My thoughts exactly. This mystery's been twisty, but I think we're starting to get it. You're right. I suspect that... Wait, Tim. Just a second. I'd like to back up our theory a bit more before we go and get too excited. How? We'll start tomorrow morning by organizing all the information we've collected up to now. All right. This view of the bamboo forest is reminding me of Harry all over again. Did you and my dad come out this way too? Sure did. This is where me and Harry faced down a rampaging Laron together. <sighs> Good times. Great times. That's wild to think about. You and my dad were right here, huh? Yeah, and it wasn't a cakewalk, let me tell you. Yeah. I saw these two suspicious looking guys in the bamboo forest and when I tried to reason with them, they were having none of it. All right, and Harry couldn't understand me when I tried telling him. Those guys suddenly took off running and that's when Larion attacked us. Did Larion go berserk because of R? Yeah, I didn't know about R at that point, but the vial I found then was a big clue. I see. By the way, what do you mean when you say you tried to reason with them? 
I wanted to suss them out first by talking to them. Running straight in didn't seem like the right move. They tried to play dumb, said something about harvesting bamboo shoots. Then they used some R to make Laron go berserk. Hmm. What's up, Tim? You haven't forgotten about R, have you? What's bugging you? Well, let me ask again. You said you tried to reason with those two suspicious men? Yeah, of course. But that's weird because he can't talk. But Dad was there too, so how come Pikachu was the one who tried to reason with him? Something is strange about the story, yeah. So we'll just, again, begin deducing this one. Hmm. And it was that he was trying to reason with them. That's the weird part. Yeah. Oh! All right. All right. Pikachu, can I have a word with you? Uh, have a word? What's this about, Tim? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you in private. Hmm. In that case, let's chat in there. All right. <laughs> Wherever. Okay. <laughs> so, what's so important that we need to talk alone? Oh, do you need relationship advice? <laughs> uh, yeah, you wish. Ever since we got to this area, you've been acting really strange. You think so? I guess all those memories rushing back jumbled my brain. Well, let's start unjumbling it then. Sounds good to me. Where should we start? Okay, let's go in chronological order. When my dad came here, do you remember the first thing he did? Well, Harry came here to investigate the Berserk Pokémon incident. But the gate to the Bamboo Forest was locked, so I had to borrow the key. After that, we had our fateful encounter. Huh. Don't you find that a little unusual? Yeah, Dad actually borrowed, borrowed the key. You never met my dad before you crossed paths in the Bamboo Forest, right? Yep, that's right. In that case, don't you think it's strange? I mean, how could you even know about what happened before you met my dad? Huh? Now that you mention it, that is strange. Maybe I heard from Harry? After that, you helped pinch him in the bamboo forest? Yeah. I was by his side the whole time, protecting him until his injury got better. Tracking down the medicine was tough. But how is that possible? Hmm. Yeah, this is the one. So how could he have gone to look for medicine if he's by his side? Pikachu, that doesn't make sense. If you were with Pancham the whole time, you couldn't have gone looking for medicine. Huh? I could have sworn I stayed with him. Maybe I left once to go look around for some medicine? After Pancham recovered, do you remember what happened next? Yeah, I heard a Pokémon roar from somewhere way off in the forest. I saw some Pokémon fleeing, so I figured there was something beyond the boulder. And then what? I climbed the boulder and continued on. And then I followed Harry and climbed the boulder too? Yeah, weird. Just as I thought. Your memories have gotten all mixed up. Yeah. Pikachu. 
If what you said is correct, wouldn't that mean you climbed the boulder twice? That's what I said, but... Maybe I got mixed up because I saw Harry climb it? As you went deeper into the bamboo forest, what did you find? I came across a suspicious duo with a lair on. And I remember calling out to them. I shouted something like, Excuse me, what are you doing here? <laughs> They tried to play dumb, and then the Laron suddenly came charging at us. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so here's the thing. Yeah, this one. That suspicious duo. Isn't it strange that they could understand what you were saying? Yeah, I guess you have a point. <laughs> Maybe... Harry said it for me? Hmm. Yeah. So, the two of you escaped from danger and decided to become partners. That's when you received the hat, right? Yeah. <laughs> I gave this hat to Pikachu as a gift. <laughs> and Harry put it on my head? Yeah. What are we going to do with him? Pikachu, you say you got the hat from my dad, but you also gave it to Pikachu? That's right. How strange. I'm starting to remember more. This whole thing started with that car accident. I remember driving my car that day with my partner, Pikachu. <laughs> Suddenly, the brakes failed and we crashed in a valley. And then I... I got thrown out of the car. Everything started to fade and I blacked out. All I remember is Pikachu desperately crying for help. But, of course, these memories up to that point were Harry's. <laughs> what is the matter? You do not appear to be injured. It is too late for him. He is fading as we speak. Sad. You would go that far. Mika, Mika, Mika. I will need your physical form to save him. Even I cannot say for certain what will happen. Knowing this, do you still wish to save him? Mika, Mika. Very well. However, I have one condition. My cells are being used by some humans for nefarious ends. I want you to retrieve them for me. The fate of this human rests in the strength of your bond with him. Now. Hmm. Anyway, that's what went down between me and Mewtwo. It sounds to me like Dad and Pikachu had a really strong bond. Yeah. By the way, Tim, don't you want to know what me and Mewtwo talked about after the ER incident? <laughs> I guess. Huh? Do you remember what happened then, too? Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Crystal clear. I, I guess I'm curious what they talked about. After we solved the R case, I went out to that alley to meet up with Mewtwo. Here you are, just like I promised you. Indeed. Thank you. So, that means it's my turn now. 
Before we proceed, there is something we must discuss. Oh yeah? Don't tell me you can't do it now. Right now, Pikachu's consciousness and your human consciousness coexist within you. It is a miracle that this balance has endured as long as it has. I can only imagine that your trust in one another has made this possible. If I were to forcibly separate the two... You're saying you can't guarantee that I'd survive that? Correct. I would say you have a 50% chance of survival. Flip of a coin. <clears throat> we don't have much time. Have you decided on which one to choose? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'll take my chances with that 50%. So be it. Hey, mm. wait a second! When you say I might not survive, do you mean just me or Pikachu too? Your fate and Pikachu's are inextricably intertwined. Then I can't afford to leave this up to chance. Sorry, can you wait before making me human again? Please. I'm sure Tim will figure something out. Besides, I'd like to be here and watch him grow up. I'm sorry, Tim. Can't come home just yet. Very well. So... However, because you used a move earlier, you are now in a precarious situation. If your human consciousness remains this strong, Pikachu's will disappear. Then what can I do? I will restore the balance between your consciousnesses, and you will forget what you now remember. Amnesia again? Hey, wait! If you do that, how am I supposed to tell Tim I'm... But it's come back somehow, and he remembers now. All this time I've been looking for my dad. And all along, you've been right beside me. I'm sorry. I should have realized it sooner. You think that's why we could understand each other? Yeah, that really should have been our biggest clue, huh? <laughs> After all, you're my own flesh and blood. <laughs> you've really grown up, Tim. <sighs> you finally found me. Thank you. <laughs> so, what about Pikachu's conscious, though? Is it going to go away, or...? I don't know. So, what do I call you now? Daddy Pika. Should I call you Dad? Hmm? I mean, you're my dad, but you're a Pikachu, too. <laughs> yeah. It'd be weird if someone overheard you. Pikachu is fine for now. Huh? Just until I'm back to normal. Yeah, sounds good to, I mean, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better get back to normal soon, for everyone's sake. Thanks to my dad's strong bond with Pikachu, Mewtwo was able to save his life. But our work isn't finished just yet. The name of Emma's project was Unitas. The same name as the organization. We need to investigate the Unity Lab next. And that is what we will do. I think next episode will be the final episode. So I will see you then. Goodbye and thanks for watching. We just had some amazing story revelations. Uh, wow. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.